put the kids and the boss to bed, tonight's episode of Strange Love Live is not safe for work, pets, or children. The opinions expressed tonight on Strange Love Live should be considered dangerous and not taken as advice. Trust me, I, I know. So sit back now and enjoy the Strange Love Live sex show. This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live Sex Edition. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. We have two very special, special hot guests tonight, Melissa Lyon. Hello. And Miss Burroughs. Hello. And we're joined by all we need for a studio audience. Yes. Cam Bam. Cam Bam. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that was good. So, the format is a little bit different this evening because I wanted to play along. I wanted to answer the questions too. So, we're going to turn over the question asking to Dr. Normal and for the first question, Cam Bam. Cam Bam, do you have a question to ask us? I do. I wonder if you are in a monogamous relationship long term, if you can still be a slut. And, and if not, okay. Why do I feel like a slut if I talk about sex a lot? <laughs> okay, can I ask you a couple questions? Just sure. so I clarify. Okay. Um, so, so by you, you mean you're just having sex with your husband? Correct. Monogamy. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Not like you want to stop with a monogamy thing and like hook it up all over the place. Because I can answer both questions. Okay, great. I mean, I that was no, I can't. I can only answer the one. Yes, you can be where a slut you for monogamous. your husband. <laughs> you can be a slut for your husband, but only if that you term know, turns you on. No, I don't know. I'm Maybe having not. a hard time Hello. with that. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, definitely. But you know, slut is is um, it's actually one of my favorite words, and uh, not to be too serious, but something I've dealt with in my two <laughs> novels published by Red House. Um, no, but I mean, you know, slut is something I love that word, and I love the idea of being a slut because I mean, it's such a cool thing to be in charge of your sexuality and be. We can say the F word, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, you know, like forgiving fucking how you want to fuck, you know, and that's really like the definition of a slut. And so, um, so yes, and I encourage you to be a slut. However, slut can have a derogatory correct. term. So yeah, why you feel like a slut when you talk about sex is because from a very, very young age, especially yeah. women, we are taught that sex is something to be kept very private. Yeah between you and the person that you love and want to spend the rest of your life with and want to have babies with, et cetera, et cetera, ad nauseum. And it's really, really hard to break that training. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can talk freely about past mm-hmm. experiences, but mm-hmm. any current relationship just feels taboo. Yeah. I think I think there's a lot of that. And and I feel the need to kick it in the teeth sometimes. You make me feel yeah. like a slut sometimes. <laughs> good. Aww. That's good. That makes me happy, babe. <laughs> so is it a shame I, thing then? Like wait, that's wait, wait, I mean that's my question. Oh, sorry, good. Sorry. I would ask you to define what you think slut means. Yeah. <clears throat> like, you know, not womanly necessarily, but like, say, a woman who might wear a skin-tight leopard print dress. <laughs> or the internet. <laughs> Not at all. It just, it sounds like a term that you wouldn't aspire to. As opposed to, like, how you defined Oops. it as in charge of. Like, you defined it in a completely different way than you I slut. have de- defined it. Well, then it's really up to you. I mean, every person has a different definition of it. Right. So for you, it's a negative thing. And you're saying, if, if I'm right... Talking about sex with a current partner, even though... It doesn't make you feel empowered. Right. It makes you feel trashy. Yeah. Or like disrespectful almost to the partner. I think it's only disrespectful if you're saying something disrespectful. Or if you're not talking to them. Well, now, do you feel feel trashy talking to the partner or to other people? Yeah. 
Uh, the most important oh, thing so is communication with the partner. So the outside world, you know, maybe because you feel like you're giving away your secrets or their secrets, not even your own. Right. It's easy to give up your own information. It's Right, which is probably why, like, past yeah. partners, it's like, eh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so mm. you're, what, if I can rephrase here. What you're saying is that when you talk to other people about your current sexual relationship, sometimes it makes you feel like a slut. Is yes. that correct? And, right. And that that's not okay for you. Oh, sure. Right. Okay. Yeah. But you want to continue talking about that. Love to talk friends. about sex. Okay. Does but, your, but it makes you feel like a slut. Hmm. Does your partner encourage? And I'm not sure who that would be. <laughs> um, Cam Bam. But Cam Bam, does your partner feel as though you shouldn't? I mean, does it no. make him feel embarrassed? No. No, it's just your hang up. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I say that, that not tonight, because when this is over, we're all going to be unconscious, I swear. But uh, we, we should just take Cam Bam out sometime, get her really drunk, and we should all talk about <laughs> current yeah. sex. Right. Yeah. With whoever that might be. Yeah. And I, well, and all I mean, of us too. You know, and I think that I think that normal. I mean, normalizing sex is really important. And but you can't like talk about your current sexual partner with just everybody. You can't be true, broadcasting true, that true. because sure. you know it just it just uh, it's not good. But you know, if you have a trusted friend, mm-hmm. you know it's it's. Mm-hmm. I think it's it it really does benefit your sex life if you're able to kind of address because mm-hmm. everyone. Well, no, know, I do have talk a about with, like board. you know a close friend. Yeah, yeah, but like good. in a group of girlfriends, like oh. I would say. You know, before I was married, uh-huh. it was kind of like sharing stories. But yeah. then now as a married wife, you know, a married woman, then yeah. you're kind of like, okay, now. You put That's this in my pocket. Yeah. And keep it here. Oh, yeah. a special little sex I could life. devote a whole yeah. episode yeah. to this because I find that fascinating. Yeah. This was oh, my no. favorite. I thought this Sorry, would be common. Else. This was my Dude, favorite well, question. No, I think, I think it is common. common. No, it absolutely is. I think is it's very common. That's Married women and mothers. Yeah. Mothers. I think I think it goes... To, uh, now, I was, you know, married. I got married when I was pregnant. You were married. <laughs> and so I really didn't have any married time without being a mom or without knowing that I was going to be a mother. But I would think that it would be much more difficult as a mother because I think that kind of maybe draws the line. It makes it harder to talk about sex with your partner when you know that your child could find out your, ch- you know, but or, or not, just but with a child not in the mind. That's the issue, though. It's not with her partner. It's with other people. No, no, no. Right. I'm not talking about talking about sex. She can talk with her partner right. about sex. I'm talking about Are, it you becomes more difficult different. to talk about when you view yourself as a mother I would instead of just subject. a sexual being. Yeah. I would totally agree with that. I feel like even my dress changed after I became a mother. Wow. Oh, yeah. mine did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is conservative, baby. <laughs> I stopped Ooh. shaving half of my head when I became a mother. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, no, that's true. I, did. I mean, I, it, it, it's, it's, it's very important. I mean, because women, I mean, f- since the 50s, I mean, I don't know if anything before that, but, you know, women's sex drive has just plummeted and, and we're expected to really embody that role of like, here's your dinner and then here's the kid <laughs> and then here's to put mm-hmm. the diaper on and, you know, mm-hmm. and it sucks ass. You know, and then you, you don't find yourself beautiful and you don't think of yourself as sexy because, like, your body is different. This is just for me. But um, one's body is different and... No, my body's different. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, suddenly you have curves in a belly and, and things are Can weird. Bam. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so and, and then it's like, oh, oh, what is all this? And I don't want to talk about it and I don't have anyone to talk about it because I've got to deal with this little kid all the time. And, mm-hmm. God, can I have 30 seconds to myself, please? <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. Okay. That's a whole episode. I think we've answered this question the we best that we can. I think we answered the first question, this, though. Can you be a slut? It depends on whether you mean it in a positive or negative way. If you mean it in a positive way, hell yeah, you can be a slut for your man. Yeah. If you mean it in a negative way, no. You can't be a slut in a monogamous relationship just by talking about sex. Never. Yeah, I don't seem to, like, fault other women when I just, I'm, you know, always like, oh, gosh, I just can't put myself can't put it out there yeah yeah so it do might you just want be more to put of a it out thing. there i mean in you know close-knit circles or whatever yeah. not, not you know like you said just in any old you don't want to like write a blog about it <laughs> right right <laughs> you just want to be comfortable discussing but it. like as much as you share on twitter mm-hmm. is lovely yes. right but yes. i cannot imagine myself sharing mm. the same things not that I don't do some of the same. I think that's, that's very, I was going to say normal, but normal is such a bad word. I would say a lot of people feel Typical. that way. Yeah, I think that to a certain extent, Miss Burroughs goes out of her way to make people informed. <laughs> yes. 
stuff. Yeah, no, it's great. Mm, yes, yes, I try. <laughs> and I mean, I think that what's great about Miss Burroughs is, is, you know, like Ooh, there's goodness. a lot of um, talk about masturbating and vibrators and stuff like that, which, I mean, women do not talk about that enough. Masturbation is a nice at all. thing. It is. It's great. Everyone go out and do it. I was, I was probably 17 or 18 or something before I did it the first time. And then wow. maybe like 27 before I did it again. Oh my God. Yeah, like I had I no idea really it was even an option. For you. Thank you. I know I'm making up for lost I was just time. Say. But oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, don't wow. worry about it. I caught up. But um, but yeah, like can you imagine? And so and like none of my girlfriends talked about it. Right, and it's right, just right. not something that like I never talked about it, but I always did it. I had no idea that that was even something you could do. Oh. Yeah, it's the goods. <laughs> I'm so sorry, <laughs> Melissa. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah. So I, I have found, like sh- she said, with the, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but women, we just don't really, most women don't talk about masturbating and, and tips and where to get sex toys and, and the how do you find the G-spot and this book's great and blah, blah, blah. I have a question for Dr. Normal. Do men discuss, aside from, oh yeah, I was jerking off, do men discuss the fact that they masturbate? I don't think they do. So. No. Yeah. We discuss Jeez. a lot about women masturbating. Really? Yeah. Do you? That makes sense. Oh, oh that's my. sweet. I think men think women masturbating is hot. Well, I mean, y'all are weighing, like, laying in bed with silk sheets and sexy clothes. <laughs> All the time. And you start putting your hand down there right. and start rubbing and rubbing. And there's, like, music playing and stuff. <laughs> it's too bad you're not on camera. And then you guys... <laughs> it's, really, it's making me blush a little. I feel a little weird. And then... <laughs> <laughs> then before you know it, you're in the shower with the soap and rubbing. And five and other women. Rubbing. Yeah. Soap. Yeah. yeah, then your girlfriend oh, knocks so. on the door right. and comes over <laughs> and she gets in the so shower right. and you're soaped up. and, and uh, oh. Isn't that how it works? Yeah, yeah totally. Very much so. Yeah. That's there's pretty a, much I, what men talk about. Yeah. yeah. No, there's yeah. a great website called, um, there's one called I Shop Myself and one called I Feel Myself and they're all self-made porn of women masturbating and the women are filming it and, um, and it's, mm-hmm. it's really hot. I highly recommend it. There's a page. Do you have a link? <laughs> I think it's just I shop for the chat room. Yeah. Oh, they all left. <laughs> Bye, chat room. <laughs> Sorry, There's everyone. like two people in the chat room now. <laughs> they're, they're okay. at, Thank you. They're just at, open another tab or whatever. Yeah, they're at itouchmyself.com or whatever the hell it is. I think I think that now we are ready for question number two. Well, wait, wait, wait. Can oh, I finish? I'm sorry. Uh, so I found that there's a lot of married women that will say, oh, we've ha- we have sex as many times a week or a month, and they're okay with that. But they're not okay with talking about masturbating, which is such an important thing for your sexual health. And I, I was wondering, as he talks about masturbation, I wonder if it's that guys don't talk about it because they think it's almost like like women masturbate because it feels good and they want to feel good, and men masturbate because they can't have sex. They're not having that, sex with a woman at that moment. I don't moment. think that's yeah. true. I think men masturbate because they masturbate. I think. For women and men, masturbation and sex are two separate things. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Honey, I know how often you masturbate. You want to you discuss that right now? That is not the subject of this episode of Strange I Love Live. I don't, I don't know if I feel that, will be that the way. I'm just, it just occurred to me um, that I wonder if some men feel that way. So, so like, let's ask does some men. Right. So, so it, what? What's going on in the chair? Um, <laughs> what? Well, so you just take a poll. Who likes to masturbate here? We all just said okay, well, not right now. It, it's unanimous. Yeah, everybody. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Right now, then. <laughs> you said here. Yeah, exactly. No, no, oh, oh. I, I didn't come. I don't think I've ever masturbated it's a comf- in this studio. Comfy couch from IKEA. Oh, you should. I, I should. I need. To, no, I've had sex on. I've never yeah. masturbated well, on it. Welcome to Sex Lies and Strange Love Live. Um, <laughs> sorry, Mike. There you I, go. <laughs> I, I like. I like it. It's, okay. It's good. It's, I just know, know a lot of guys that they're like, you know, well, my wife won't have sex with me or whatever. So well, no. then you'd be masturbating. Well, no, I mean, if, if that's if it's an op, if it's like I'm not going to get any. Yes, but that's not the only reason for masturbation. I would hope not. Okay. I, I don't think it is. I'm just saying that. I wonder. I oh, wonder if, okay. We did get a good comment in the chat room. Okay, what? Masturbation and sex are different. This is from a guy. I'm not going to say who. That's what I said. You I want to know who. Notes. I'm not going to say. Same. Masturbation and sex. If you sex, don't tell me, I'm going to ma- come over there and look. Stop. Shh. Masturbation and sex are Shut different. Up. Masturbation is candy. Sex is a meal. There I like that. But I I'd like, like to that. know who said it. Hmm. Uh, read the chat room later. We'll post the chat room. Masturbation is candy. Hmm. Can we guess who said it? I don't know. I think sure, masturbation you can guess. can be a meal, too. <laughs> I don't want to guess. Exactly. <laughs> I have two guesses, and I don't know if I... Yeah, I'm just not going to guess. 
Melissa, do you think masturbation can be meal? Yeah, absolutely. I was yeah. going to actually I disagree with that. Be. Well, now there I, is Because I don't think that, I think that it's too bad that we're, that, you know. I, mean, I don't think you'd want to have it chocolate? for dinner every night, but. What? No. You don't want to masturbate every night? No, no, I'm saying it's not a meal every night, but it is sometimes. have been on the road sometimes. for a week on a business trip, baby. Yes, I know you have. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come in and find this. In the living room. I know. Isn't, isn't nice? <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? I was doing? actually really looking forward to getting back home. Actually. I bet. <laughs> Very <laughs> looking. not have a bunch of hands. You notice I didn't the... call you guys at all today until <clears throat> 6 o'clock or something? Yeah, Dr. Yep. Normal was in from work June. today. Oh, yay. <sighs> okay. But I do think, that, I mean, but it can't be said enough what, what Leah's, what Miss Burrow said. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Don't type that up. Um <clears throat> But you, you say again, like about masturbation being important to your sexual health. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, it, it teaches you about your body, about what yeah. you like. Mm-hmm. Um, you can help while you're having sex. You can touch yourself at the same time, yeah. which mm-hmm. often is very needed and important. Yeah. And uh, or just plain sexy. <laughs> true. That's true. <laughs> it's and also good. I wish for we had a knowing... camera on Doctor Normal right now because he looks so <laughs> incredibly cheesy. He looks so excited. Well, we could get a, some sponsors, you know, and then we'll have more cameras, right? <laughs> Okay. It's good for knowing what your clit looks like on a normal basis. Mm-hmm. You know, if something's different, if you need to check the doc, you know, go to the doctor or whatever, if something hurts, why it hurts or, you know, it's good to know the parts of your body. Yeah. So That's not why I me. masturbate. I'm, it's just <laughs> another added bonus. <laughs> okay, it's, it's just very not very sad how it's many It's just not the reason that I No, but it's, you yeah. know, I think that women should know all parts of their bodies. I agree. I, I do. I agree. Okay. And now I think we are ready for question okay. number two. I'll be quiet now. Wow. Dr. Normal. I have the question number two. Question number two. Um, um, and this is from a gal. And uh, she asks, what's a good way to prevent sex with a partner from becoming routine without having to go all freaky? Like... <laughs> Like, how can we change the pace sans handcuffs and hot wax? Oh, that's easy. You can okay. You can change the time of day you're having sex. In 30 seconds, Melissa Lyon, go. (laughs) You can change the time of day that you're having sex. Every question is easy. That's easy. easy. Let me show you. I'll say some hard stuff for later, maybe. Yeah. Well, I think that um, Uh like changing the location... Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be like in the elevator, you know, between just even in your home where you're doing it. Exactly, you can do it on the couch, or yeah, when is a good one? Calling like just like a quickie at lunch, you know. Maybe anybody ever had sex in a garage? (laughs) I'm just curious. Oh, in a car in the garage. Oh, okay, okay, near a garage. No. Any kind of garage. Oh, parking. Oh, yeah, me too. Raise your hand. Oh, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Great memory. On a rock? Uh, yeah. On a rock? At a lake? No, no not at a lake. Oh, wait, at no. A beach. River. A river. A river. A river. <laughs> okay. In an uncomfortable situation? Oh, okay. In the back of a <laughs> oh, Volkswagen in a Beetle? No, it was not no, a Beetle. No, no, no. And a Hyundai, my like, high school boy. <laughs> that was before I started going oh. out with the guy with the Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes. I learned, I learned the hard way. I was like, Hyundai Excel Mercedes. <laughs> the Mercedes was bigger. What was the question? <coughs> Sorry. Oh, change the location. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. oh change, the, change location, the location. Change, change the, the timing. Time. Uh, a sexy outfit for him oh, or her. Oh, good one. Um, keeping your shoes on during sex. Telling the other person your fantasy. <laughs> Keeping Yo, your yeah. shoes on during sex. Oh yeah, some people. That, your boots. Oh, yeah, if you, <laughs> boots, <laughs> the, if you had Cam Bam boots. Yeah, if you had the yeah, Cam Bam, Cam Bam, Bam come on over here and show you. You got to put those pants up. Though. There you there go. You go. If you oh, yeah. have these boots, look at more these, sexy look boots, at these kids. Wear too. these boots during <laughs> sex. I love those. Come over here. Lift it up. Just bring me your yeah. leg. There you go. Those are awesome. Zipper on the sides. Yeah. Um. So sexy outfits, sexy boots, and and I can't stress enough that if you don't want to do the you know the hot wax and handcuffs, you can try role playing. Oh, I'm a naughty school girl. Look at my little skirt. (laughs) How is that different from going all freaky? (laughs) It depends on your definition of freaky. Well, that's I think that's the answer, right? Or naughty nurse. Yeah. I would say to to not discount freaky. To be in Well, with. no, if they're not into hot wax, it sounds like not into pain, hot wax and handcuffs. Well, they actually, don't they have, 
massage candles that you can light. Yes, by Jimmy Jane. Okay, mm. Jimmy Jane. So, you so can, awesome. And then you can pour them on; it doesn't hurt, right? Like, exactly. But still, maybe so. maybe specifically, hot wax, wax is not their thing, and that's okay. okay. Well, it's turtle wax. So try other things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. and there's in a garage. Of oh, and you know what? I can't stress enough hot because a lot of people don't use this. Shave their legs. What? Yeah. No, <laughs> um, no shave I'm the sorry. Legs. I'm sorry. Yes, do shave your legs. Although, you know what? Although, I'm yeah. sure you don't shave your legs. No, but I was going to say that, lubricant. I, I don't. Oh, yes. Lubricant. But be I cannot really say enough lubricant, but you got to get the mindful. right kind. Yeah, exactly. About the right kind of lubricant. Don't get with the spermicide. Get with the. Oh, yeah. Not the spermicidal yeah. lubricant. That no, stuff. No, 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 and not the glycerin. No, 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 no. 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 And, and not glycerin. Yeah. But you can go to the. You can go to like whatever it, a good sex store mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. good vibrations online mm-hmm. and they'll be able to refer you mm-hmm. to really, really some great lubricants. But I was just going to say too, um, one of my favorite sex writers and a friend of mine, Rachel Kramer Bustle, um, she is really all about spanking. Mm-hmm. And I have to say that spanking is, um, oh, you could really, it's not about pain or anything. I mean, no, it's, it's what not. you're talking about, role playing. about contact. Yeah. And yeah. so it's not freaky but it is something that that you know you can experiment with a little bit and it's not painful and you can just give a little swat and that's Mm -hmm. kind of well I think actually what happens is your body learns that it's a pleasurable thing if you're doing Mm -hmm. something pleasurable when you get spanked so then it kind of connects and there's a huge difference between you know this and but and uh, something else I thought of that's easy is like a, a sleep mask Instead of like oh, a blindfold. Oh, there you really go. Sleep mask. Yeah. Uh, ice cubes. Ice oh, cubes. Yes. Um, also, oh, I just thought of something. Oh, toys. Sex toys. Yeah. Sex toys. A little vibrator. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Him or her. Both yeah. happy yeah. people just there. don't. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put them all in all the holes. No, no, no. no yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, you have to be. <laughs> Vibrators are meant for one hole and one hole only. Yeah. Well, some are. And, and you can put them are. in well, a dishwasher. Yeah. Well, too. unless yeah. they're a multi. Yeah. But get you don't want to cross them. Yeah, and and be be careful about what kind you get too, because Cross. you don't want to. I would go to goodvibrations.com or whatever if you if you're or babeland.com. Yeah, babeland. And they all have um, or go in and look at the vibrators in a shop yeah. yourself, mm-hmm. and so if you it's can enough, see what you're yeah. wanting. So and talk to the people behind the counter. The people behind the counter see people like you every single day, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. seven zillion of you, and yep. so they are just going to answer your question and not judge you for Correct. whatever. Okay. Being oh, oh, the other thing is, you know, if one person always initiates. Oh, yeah. Initiate. If you're not you the know, initiator, like, yeah. be the initiator. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, talk about the fact that maybe things are getting boring. What can we do together instead of putting it all on yourself and into mm-hmm. fixing or, you know, whatever. That sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I liked what you said about talk about fantasies. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And there might be some little things that aren't, you know, freaky that you could do that are just different. I wonder how different many fabrics. of the things we just said were freaky. I don't really find them. You know, I think I it's someone. It, I think it just depends on their. It depends on who you yeah. are. What freaky means? Okay, Cam Bam, do you have so. anything to add? <laughs> no, I'm just surprised you guys didn't talk about any sort of like passion party. Isn't that like the new Tupperware party thing oh, where you actually get to like so. have things out of the package and mm. touch them? And I've never actually been to one. I went to one recently. How was it? Was that? Just it was. Interesting. Is it? Is it? It's lotions and potions and toys, correct? Right. But okay. then there's the you know the sales lady who uh-huh. just like describes what things are uh-huh. and when you could use them. A thing being a sex toy or being a lotion potion. Either. Both. Yeah. Both. Pass them around. You get to oh. touch it out see, of the package. See, turn that's, it on. Oh, that's nice because okay. you're able to see it out of the package. <clears throat> yeah. And taste things. Oh. Try. Try them on. That, see, that's a nice extension of having those, I don't want to say girlfriends, but friends that are women, women friends that you yeah. can consult with and say, you know, hey, I tried this private or you should try it. It's great for this or whatever. And I wish more people, more women talked that way. Yeah, it really provided so. like a great forum then right. for, yes. to, to talk about Certainly. that among your girlfriends. Yeah, yeah. that's great. In a really like easy way, not just like over dinner. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. And and usually you guys have a couple of drinks so you're a little more relaxed. Yeah. That sounds like um, I I tend to not like the gimmicky, dusty kind of things in general. I'm not a big lotion potion person, so I don't like the body. What about a glory hair. hole? Glory well, a uh, fat cobra apparently has the best ones. Mm. What fat is that? cobra. Fat cobra. It's a video store on Interstate Ave. 
I don't know. I read it in the paper. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I've seen that. <laughs> what about... Not Mr. Peeps? Or the only Mr. Peeps you know, I know This actually could like... be more relevant to later questions, but we're, we're talking about... <laughs> How how a monogamous couple can enhance right, yeah. their relationship oh. with one you another. You could make oh, a glory hole I out of a cardboard it. box. That would actually be very cute. It seems oh. uncomfortable, though. Yes, exactly. See, I was talking about couples. They, that would be pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what? They'll go to a strip club if you're in Portland. Well, yeah, that's a good point, too. I mean, you go to a strip club together. In Portland, strip clubs are so normal. I mean, you just go there and have drinks, cheap this drinks, per- and This particular fantastic. person is overseas. but Oh, okay. Yeah. But Come to Portland. I wouldn't say that 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 there would be an issue finding. Yeah, but in Portland, an though, I mean, I'm just saying, as somebody who's not from here, that, right. that we, we have a lot more strip clubs and per capita than any other so city, I think. Awesome. And we have a lot more questions okay, to go. All right. Okay, next question. <laughs> Like and, and, and I'm not sure about the quality of the toys at the fashion parties. Oh yeah, yeah. So that worries me too. That- just okay. question. Is next question, Doctor? Okay. On to the next question. Yes, doctor. Yes. Um, Jane Sexy, if that is her real name, <laughs> asks, My husband is vanilla. I am not. I really wish he'd be more dominant in bed. We don't need to act out fantasies, though I'd love that, but I feel like sex for him is too emotional. Too much about love. If I grab his junk and am lusty, it actually turns him off. He feels like I'm using his body. How can I get him to be less of a girl? I enjoy biting and scratching and sex because wild and feral. And sex being wild and feral. <laughs> he only gets turned on by satin sheets and intimate revelations. Ugh. And uh, do I do I read the next Yes, there's two oh. questions that kind of go together. In my Jane mind. Sexy writes again... Have you ever had a partner whose fave thing to do was something you hated? How did you handle it? Now, the reason that I asked Dr. Normal to ask those two questions at the same time is because I think she they go together. That's me. Something. No. <laughs> I think they <laughs> go together really, really well, just from different perspectives. Yeah, flip side. I think Keep that flip side. in any relationship sexually, there needs to be give and take because... Just because you're emotionally compatible with a person and you're in love with them doesn't mean that sexually you want the same things. That's true. So how do you guys think it's best to achieve that balance where everyone's getting what they want some of the time? And I think that's, I mean, I really do think that's the answer is that everyone needs to get what they want some of the time. Your partner or you should not force your favorite thing that your partner doesn't enjoy constantly Mm -hmm. because that's not very friendly and loving so what do you guys think what's a good way to achieve that balance well i'd say the first thing is to talk to the other person again correct so many people just sort of hold the burden on themselves that you know oh, i want this but i can't tell them because they'll be mad at me and then you just kind of suffer in silence and i have no drink left Uh, so telling them and maybe brainstorming about something that the thing that popped into my mind was satin sheets he ties her to the bed oh that's Aww. nice you know that way Silk tie, she satin is sheets. she's got that feral but she sounds like she wants to be the aggressor i know but it would be interesting to see if she couldn't do anything about it that probably yeah. drive her nuts yeah in a good way yeah and then he could take his time just an interesting thought that's just that what pop, popped into my head uh, just uh, to try to f- talk about it, try different things. I agree about the, the give and take. Yeah. And a lot of times people don't want to do something because they're afraid they can't do it right or they don't, they haven't done it before or they're scared that they're going to get hurt. Yeah, the last thing you want when you're in a mature relationship is to feel like you're like, a, you know, a bumbling teenager who right. doesn't know yeah. where to put it. Right. Yeah. So, um, I'm interested because this is a woman's perspective, and essentially the husband, or the husband, I don't, I don't know, the the significant the male other, significant other is a man, mm-hmm. and he kind of likes the soft and satin. He likes things, to cuddle after sex, which seems like um, kind of opposite of what we normally yeah. would expect. Because most guys, I think it's opposite of what you normally expect, but I don't think it's that uncommon. Did you write no, this? Okay. <laughs> Did you write? This? I thought of another idea. 
She didn't answer. You notice that? I didn't write this. We don't Dr. Have, Norma we really don't have does like sheets, to cuddle. So I know I'm Should we just interview you, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Norma loves to have sure. the cuddles. Oh, that's sweet. That's not, that's not true. You like you you were you were like I'm the first person you wanted to cuddle with, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I do. Dr. Normal's really the only one of my men's that I ever liked cuddling with. Oh. There you, you go. You guys are sweet. Yeah. You're giving hope. To marriage to me. <laughs> I don't have a lot After of, this show, I don't probably have a lot not. Of faith in the marriage. My other idea was okay. that she could masturbate in front of him. Ooh, that would be very it's always good. wild and crazy oh, for her. I she could like even dress up and do it. Are you okay? What happened? Yeah, no, I was like, oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, masturbating in front of people. No, it's good. Yeah, yeah, no, wait, hot. wait, wait. Let me, really hot. Let me I want to have, have a public service announcement. I love seeing guys jerk off. Masturbating in front of your significant other or partner is a good thing. If you've never done it before, you should try it. Oh, and, yeah. and not both, as Dr. Normal ways. suggests, in front of people. <laughs> yes. yes. And you I'm will talking, get hauled off to jail. I'm talking to men and Next women. And, blog, and right? women hey. and women and men and it's men. Whatever it's your normal. sexual persuasion. Lovely. If you've never masturbated in front of your partner, please do it. Oh, it's such an it's such an empowering experience. And it's so... It is. It's, it's such an educational. Liberating I was going to say, it also teaches them. Yeah. 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 It's awesome. So. If they can focus on the educational part, <laughs> you might have to do it again. Yeah, no, it's yeah, really you might hot. have to repeat performance. Times. Not right. a bad thing. So that way, she could be wild and crazy, and he could just sit there and watch. And I wanted to address the second question. All right, um, which was, you know, have you ever had a partner do something wanted to do want to do something that mm-hmm. you hate? Right? Is that the question? Well, I think the question was always that the, that was their favorite thing to do was something you hate. Yeah. Um, and I think one of my friends said recently, the easiest thing to do is to change your mind. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and to me, like I've just been trying to change my mind about things that I just commonly accept as something I hate or whatever. And it's really, I mean, it's huge. It totally changes the thing. And then the thing is not the thing anymore or whatever. And so if you stopped like hating it, then maybe it would be, I think it depends if it's something that that person likes to do, like say they like to dress up as something that the yeah, other person doesn't something. like. That's one thing. But say they like to have sex in an uncomfortable position that their partner doesn't like. Mm-hmm. Then I, it's I'm a different thing. I'm not supposed to do it in front of the microphone. It, it's okay. We'll forgive you. you. Oh, yeah, the it chocolate. Was she, yeah, she had chocolate in her chocotini. Um, sorry, Internet. That's okay. Oh, I thought That's you okay. meant me. <laughs> sorry, you're you're, you're eating chocolate chocolatey. on a sex show. That's all yeah, good, chocolate right? Chocolate on a sex show is allowed. Actually, should we do drinks now? Oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't I um, fire up the drink. Okay, you can, you can do, no, I can't, I have to drive home. Um, are, are, are we muted? No, he's, he's um. going to give us drink music. Drink music. Oh. That's right. So what are we drinking tonight, Cami Chaos? Um, three of five <laughs> of the people in this room are drinking a Choco Tini, which is vodka and creme de cacao with a Hershey's Kiss in the bottom. A chocolate teeny. Yeah. Choco teeny. Choco teeny. Choco teeny. And, and uh, Miss Burroughs is drinking San Pellegrino. Yep. While Dr. Normal is drinking something. I am drinking Brandy. Martel okay. VSOP Cognac tonight oh, with sorry. the ladies. <laughs> I mean, come on. Right? Oh, that's it's a special why. occasion. Yeah, you're a high roller. You're a baller for sure. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have to say, though, Choco teenies have a little bit of kick. Oh my god, it was awesome! Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying <laughs> like to sip more. mine. It's it's all I can do not to just down the rest yeah, of it. That's By the I third did. or the fourth one, I remember one Christmas. Oh jeez. Oh man, yeah, no, we that went to a, a, we went to a Christmas party at a family friend's house, and she uh, she made us uh, of, two of, of those Dr. Normal's and family, oh. and she made us Choco Teenies. <sighs> it was so and good. On the way home, we stopped at the liquor store to get the stuff to make. <laughs> oh them. my gosh! And then we got awesome. home to my mom and dad, and and we all got. Chaco tea need. Oh, it was so good. I wish I had more. Well, okay, but can I just talk about the mm-hmm. hating the thing? Yes. Oh, and yes. Hating. I have to say that that you know I think that what should happen, and we keep and Ms. Burroughs is, has been going back to this, and rightly so, which is to communicate with your partner. Correct. And and I think that there's something you know that if you were to say, I don't like this I feel uncomfortable with this maybe there's a way like we could work into it slowly because there are several sex things that that can be um introduced to you slow one slowly and and you very feel better slowly. about it very <laughs> or slowly another thing 
Oh, and this oh. sounds strange. You could take turns. Maybe there's something that you'd really like to do that you haven't brought up with your partner. And make sure your partner knows it's not my favorite thing to do, but I love you. I want to please you. I'm willing to do it. This is what I'd like to try. Yeah. And then maybe you'll feel like you're getting more out of the bargain. Jump in. Can't be. With the communication oh, thing, when, with the communication thing, finding out why they like it so much mm, sometimes can just good. open up. Good one. Very good. Yeah. Something else. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. And I, I also think that um, someone shouldn't do something to you if they're not willing to have it be done to them. I agree completely. Oh, good one. And that, um, I think, um, leads to our next question. <laughs> I think it leads As to our next fact. question nicely. Uh, um, and that is, my partner and I are curious about giving anal sex. How do we go about it? I think you didn't, maybe I didn't rephrase that properly. <laughs> really. um, Jane Sexy writes, Yes. she and her partner <laughs> are, will, are, are curious about giving anal sex to him. He would oh, like to okay. receive he, anal sex. Yeah, they're curious about so, yeah. him receiving anal sex okay. from her and how Enjoying should they go about that. that. Well, no, that's not good. Slowly. Slowly. With lots of lubricant. Yes, mm-hmm. good. And a finger to start. A finger. Your pinky. Yeah, but your pinky, well trimmed, no yeah, nail. Yeah, no, no fingernails on that. Before you ever go anywhere near a device. And really a lot of lubricant and a lot of patience. I mean, like you're going to have to schedule time out in your day. Correct. And, and by this slowly, is for men and for women. Correct. Mm-hmm. By slowly, I do not mean... Um, go with the pinky and then 10 minutes later stick a big old dildo in the butt mm-hmm. and anyone's butt not just a man anyone's butt at all you need to go slowly yeah you need to work your way up i'm telling you over schedule weeks or times months. yeah but I even mean, if you're gonna go with the finger the pinky but that's like a four hour thing you gotta work yeah you have to work up to it yeah and lubricant lubricant <laughs> lubricant anyone have something to add I was going to say it's important for the person. Ah, oh, your thing's sticky. It's because it's taco <laughs> tummy. <laughs> You're sticky. I know. It's delicious. Whoa. Uh, uh, we hear that often sticky. during sex, don't we? Uh, let's see. I it's think I good said it this morning. To have a <laughs> clear, is it your colon? Yes. Yes. So you don't want to do Thanks it when oh. you're, I don't know, having feeling <laughs> tummy issues. Yeah. It's not a good idea. You want to make sure you're cleaned up. So in other words, you don't want like the big like um, turkey like the day after Thanksgiving, <laughs> this is and it's to like, be sexy, hey, not about this, okay. I'm just this saying, is not good, sexy. Point, I'm just good saying. point. This is ceased to be sexy. I'm saying if it's a good you point. already are not yeah. feeling, it's not a good. But time. you probably shouldn't be having sex like that anyway. Like, I agree. I mean, especially women need to be like comfortable. And what about guys? Well, certainly, though? you know, I think guys need to be comfortable. Guys they just, need but, to but just the big shut thing, up. They just don't like no, to admit it. But the big thing is that, you know, it's a fact that that stimulates the prostate. Right. Correct. Right. Which is why it's an excellent question. Exactly. And my answer yeah. is still slowly. Yeah. With lots slow. of lubricant. Yes. Can I go to the sex store. Ask the people at oh, the sex store. Oh, I'm sorry. Miss Burroughs okay. has more to say. I'm sorry. just going to go eat a strawberry now. All right. There, I would, there are certain positions that are better than others. The person can relax. Uh, very slowly, like you said. Lots of lubricant. It helps. <laughs> is this too detailed? No, it's show. awesome. Go. Okay. Um... For the person to be taking deep breaths, yeah. breathing, feedback, saying no, stop, whatever. Uh, if there's a problem, don't take it out really fast because that can be a problem. Yes, remove slowly. Yes. Apparently there's, um, I think it's sphincter muscle. I'm saying it wrong. There's Sphincter. Sphincter. Thank you. Inside, at a certain level that you get to, that can feel really strange. So you, oh. it's good to know that that's coming up. And to take a deep breath and, and continue on. And also to know that she's getting a phone call. I think it's a text. <laughs> I, I have one thing to add. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, to, I'm sorry. to know that. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do that at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's not Certainly that's you not don't, sexy. Certainly, you don't want to mix holes. Mm. No, you know, no, don't, no, don't. no, that, that's spreads bad. germs and disease. Yeah, and women are especially sensitive to yeah, that. urinary tract infections. infections. Mm-hmm. Hello, yeah, so don't want to do anything to encourage so that. Say, um, um, well, let me while you that think, oh. oh, oh, that it's okay if it feels good. If you're it like, okay whoa, it feels good, that feels good, that's okay. And if it doesn't, that that's okay too, but still go slowly, even if it feels great at first. Yeah. Go slowly. Well, yeah, I think you don't. You your your anus doesn't make any natural lubrication, so you Correct. definitely need a lot of lubrication. Correct. And I think it is the skin 
uh, thinner or something. Yeah, so it's mm-hmm. easier. Yeah. And that's why it feels good is because the there's so many nerve endings okay. there and everything. So, so um, yeah, definitely be careful. Never, ever use a bottle in lieu of a sex Oh, toy. my God, no. Just, or any food just be, product if you're, or anything. If you're, if you're afraid to go buy sex toys, just man up, woman up, go get yourself a sex toy. Get it online. You can be anonymous. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So did we talk about strip clubs? Um, how do you Quickly. feel about strip clubs? Love them. Do you ever go to strip clubs? Yes. How do you feel about your mates going to strip clubs? Love it. Have you ever gone with your current mate to a strip yes. club? Okay. Okay. What was the first uh, and, question again? No, that's it. And she gave all the answers. So next question. <laughs> oh, we don't get to discuss. We have different answers. All right. Oh, Miss Bros. I have answers. Miss Bros. has answers. And what this was, was from Joe Sexy. He is so cute, Joe Sexy. That's right. It's, it's just Joe Sexy and Jane Sexy who ask the questions okay. tonight. So the first question was, how do we feel about strip clubs? I, I think it's pretty much strip clubs in general. And do you go there with... Your I think strip clubs are good. Do you celebrate the strip club I think that, scene? I think that I haven't been to a strip club in a long time. But Not that's because since Union Jacks. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was nice. Which actually was oh, no, discussed no, in the no, chat. No, no, no. We went we went, we went on the Itita Rod after Union Jacks. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. We went and as to answer whether or not I've been to a strip club with my partner, I took him to a strip club for my birthday one year. For a punk for a and punk strip show. club show. That a, was awesome. A punk show for my birthday. It was a great punk with show hot too. tattooed chicks. I just went there for the music. Yeah, he just went there for the music. He wasn't hey, at all like turned on by the naked chicks. Live punk band playing with a girl on a pole at the same time. Awesome. It's that's hot. that's pretty fun. I agree. And I don't like I, I don't like my partner going to strip clubs without me though. I think if he's nope. going to go to a strip club, he should take me with him, because I'm willing to go. Really? Let's go. After this, yeah, really. <laughs> Let's go. Um, can't babysit. someone come over and babysit my kid? <laughs> oh, that's she right. won't notice. And then we're on our way out <laughs> <She's> the door. <laughs> Um, Miss Burroughs. I've only been to one, and I was actually quite disappointed because... Did you go to the wrong one? Probably. Which one did you go to? I'm trying to remember. It's <laughs> it's one of the only smoke-free ones, which I loved. Oh. But they That'll change soon. one stage. I had seen them in movies, so I expected like 12 stages and rotating, and it was one pole in the corner, and the poor women had to their clothes up off the ground when they were done well that's what strippers have to do they do have to pick their do clothing up yeah. i guess i expected there to be like i don't know more of a like a, a you expect it to be well, a vegas well, show yeah like a curtain you know i could see everything yeah like not not the. you got to watch them clean the pole which is for sanitation <sighs> yeah. reasons yes the fantasy wasn't 100 percent. it was like stopped yeah. and started it, yeah. yeah i was yeah, i don't like, want to see that i like certain, the realism of it so there's a, yeah so do i i think i mean i um really i mean there are some places out. that are too real well, but no still. no no. but the real i really enjoyed mary's club for a time when i was mm-hmm. single because it was a family-run operation and honest to God, if you wanted to write a book or a story, I mean, I would like actually yeah. sit and interview these people. I mean, it was like the mom and the kids and the one kid was the stripper and the right. rest worked at the bar and stuff. And grandpa had owned this place since like 1962 or something. Yeah. I mean, it was just an awesome story. And they were like, oh, yeah, we're going to have the company picnic. Yeah, you should yeah. come mm-hmm. check it out. I mean, it was like, you know, it was just it was a really interesting place. One stage, a pole, a bunch of pool tables. And last call at, you know, 125, yeah. like get your last beer because everybody would roll in there to get there because, you know, most clubs close down way yeah. before that. It's like if you drink it in two minutes, I'll give it to you. you yeah, know? you mean 225. It, it, yeah, it was, it was great. Well, whenever last call was, geez, I haven't been out in years. But that, that was a great <laughs> place, you know. Can I them? And just a real like classic me. place. And I, I took some guys from, from Europe there, from Scandinavia, and they have like, nudity and clubs and all sorts of stuff there i said okay there's this one place you'll enjoy because it's like the single stage the pole a jute box that they have to have feed money for the dancer to dance and the one girl that would go and yell at the patrons to give her money to put in the jute box to uh to uh, um to to play music. music so she could dance i mean it was something like out of a david lynch movie it was awesome I want to ask more strip Now, I have a question. Oh, okay, because I have more After I gave too. that I'm not, answer, I'm not, I'm not and that is that male right. strip clubs. I want to ask because yeah. the chat room, someone in the chat room mentioned male I strip don't like clubs. like male strip clubs. And flaccid men naked I don't, and stuff. I don't find male strip clubs attractive at all. No. 
Okay. I just don't I enjoy go. it at all. Really? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I might, but it's not what I would go to. I, I find I've a woman stripping gone, way more attractive than a yeah, man stripping. They're usually a little more talented. Well, the, <laughs> I just so I saw something really... on the HBO Sex years ago. I saw something on the HBO Sex years ago, and it was like some place in Philadelphia with these really, I mean, incredibly hung men, and they wore these special jock socks kind of things and they literally they were they're like the women were down on the floor and they were like you know Whoa. doing the yeah wow. it was crazy huh i have a couple girlfriends that enjoy the male strippers yeah oh I just, really i just don't really understand the appeal of a man's how about like in europe where it's uh um, um both sexes what in the same club like in europe like in paris they have both sexes in the same club yeah that's fantastic that would be awesome i just i think that my problem is is that i don't find men like a man stripper body i wouldn't find that attractive i'm not into like i think bow hunky guys like with oiled up the muscles i don't like that i like I like short the guys. Fabio, the Fabio kind of thing. Right? I, I, I like we need to get Pam Bam like, to weigh in on the strip club conversation. Look how shiny your ring is. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, it is lighting me from over here. <laughs> it is really That's shiny. a shiny <laughs> wedding ring that you've got there, by the way. Gift. Oh, it's congratulations. Lovely. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. Um, love strip clubs where women are on stage. But yeah. I, and I don't. I'm not like a fan of men's strip club, but more than that, I don't know if I like to be in the crowd with ho- who goes to see men. Oh my gosh! Exactly oh, right. with the screaming and right. the <laughs> yeah, it's sort of so, like yeah. the ugliest part of women. Yeah, so you brought something up that I was curious about, and now I I'll finish while you think, think of that. I will okay. say that it we I went with a bunch of people. And there was one lady who's on Twitter, Sasha B, who ended up stripping because she wasn't supposed to then. I whatever. She her. is phenomenal. She's I would yes, that was great. But the other girls, it was it was sad because I I remember saying to one of the guys there, Is she gonna hurry up and take her clothes off? She's <laughs> taking so long. Yeah. I think I've watched too much porn. Get so you know, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> so, um, uh, we'll talk about that in a sec. Yeah. So I, I I don't know. It was like with the burlesque. Show. Burlesque. <laughs> I did it again. Burlesque. Burlesque show. No, you're talking about the that men. I went to. men no, no, it was women. Okay. And I guess just after seeing so many naked women, I don't know. It's did like, you guys like that? I like got the- that at home with me all the time. I don't know. It just. It was great to see them celebrate their bodies, but I don't know. It just wasn't. I get the sexy impression for burlesque me. seems more like amateur. I don't know. See, some of them. There's a one professional. Chick that what is bur- bur- Did you see that one burlesque pole dancer? She was the like the pole dancer that won for like all of Europe in the pole dancing. Com- I'll send you the link. Okay. Oh my god, it's amazing. She. Oh, it was hot as hell. But burlesque and, and strip club burlesque. different because yeah. I don't think in burlesque you don't typically get all the way naked. No, a lot of them did. And is it topless? It's oh, like big, Vegas. No, like they Vegas. Like, it's like a big like, show. Uh, pasties. It pasties. depended pasties. on the show I saw. Sometimes they. All the it's way. It's more like Sometimes a strip it tease. Yeah, it's a lot more. It's like a Vegas tease. thing, right? More it's like, like a, a Moulin not Rouge. A, do you know who no, Dita Von yeah, is? Well, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the fan dancing. Yeah, yeah. Like a Moulin Rouge and like the classic. Yeah, Vegas it's more theatrical. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. theatrical. Yeah. 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 Okay, but so I, I want to go back to you said you don't like to see the oily. No way. So I want to ask. That kind of leads to another question. What do you like in a man? What turns you on in a man? So obviously a man standing there naked, oily with the with the muscles and stuff <laughs> doesn't turn you on. No. What does turn you on? What gets you hot? Men in black shirts. <laughs> and black men pants. Men with headphones, headphones on. <laughs> and a <laughs> microphone we made in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my um, God, my husband's all pink the and shiny. I think that... <laughs> <laughs> well, the main thing that turns me on is uh, a man who reads books. Okay. Yeah. And specifically and books. That would probably books. be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Things that I've written, you can buy them on Amazon. Like like bought them. Swollen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perhaps. Upstream. People and that upstream. attend events like Backfence PDX on Wednesday. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, and, and we were going to let you honestly <laughs> be that at the end of the show. Why not? A Thank couple you. Times. Um, but, uh, and a sense of humor. If a guy can't make me laugh, then it's done. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah I can't. Funny. I have yeah. got to laugh. Even, like, in bed, I want to laugh. During sex, I want to laugh. I If a guy can't make me laugh, I, it's just, I can't deal. Even when women, every single friend of mine makes me laugh. What do they do in bed to, when you're having sex to make you laugh? 
I don't know. Just like tell a joke. Or <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the It's road? like the ability no, just like, you know, to be in bed with someone and to have a situation be, be funny yeah. and then yeah. be able to go back. No, hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be careful here. You don't want to be on the verge of coming and the right. guy's like, hey, why did the chicken cross the road, right? No, but you I know? mean like, you know. If oh, you, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's the funniest joke I've ever heard. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I mean, there's something so, because it is a really vulnerable thing yep. to have sex. And at the same time, because mm. it's so vulnerable, um, you know, you, like, at the, for me, if I'm feeling vulnerable, I might make people laugh. But, um, but also, you know, I, you know, you want to be pretty and you want to be like, and then you kind of put your thing on and then, but if you can break through that, it's just even all the more trusting yeah. and you can really develop, even if it's a one time thing, but you know, it's still much more fun if you can laugh at it. Tell me how you be, how you try to be pretty. I want to hear about that. <laughs> you know, I, I, cause I would thought of a lot about this, but, um, you know, like in, in my twenties, I think that I was probably pretty <laughs> mindful of like my face and uh-huh. like, how does my ass look? And, um, you know, like am how I'm not to say that I'm not careful with my panties and my bras and, you know, wearing, if I think I'm going to get laid, like I'm certainly going to be looking good i mean okay. but you know i have a partner too so it's not every night you know like some nights I'm if just it's in my, if it's like a on, if you're on a date and you think you might get laid everything's gonna look good everything's yeah. gonna match when yeah, you're married definitely. and you think you're gonna get laid you're like honey i'm naked come get it yeah i know here i am we have 20 minutes yeah. i'm tired Do it before the kid wakes up <laughs> yeah okay go. oh that's um, the worst but i think that i mean like an oh like make a when pretty noise or Make you know, a like pretty noise. wanted like everything just. Uh, this was oh, me no, no. in my twenties. I'm with you on oh. the pretty noise. You know, like make I loved pre- making the pretty noises. Yeah, when and I was like younger. and make everything smell bright and pretty, like roses. But it's, it's totally pretty noise when you're having sex or yeah. before. God, sex. is this it's like sex in no, Song of the, the South or something? Moan. What the hell? Yeah, and I mean it's like it's a, like uh, Snow White oh. and little birds and shit coming up, and you're like, yeah, do me, baby. Did you never try to make the perfect noise? Grumpy, sneezy, and long. I found long. For a long Did you ever time. try to make the perfect noise? Absolutely. Have you never yeah. not heard a noise that you were like, "Whoa, no thanks on that noise again"? <laughs> you've never made. I might have it. liked that, but I don't want to <laughs> that, sound that like I've that. made. <laughs> yeah. Like if you've been with someone, you, right? Do you have a, a, a preference on the like, noise oh, level or the well, type of sound they See, make? Here's the deal: yeah. is for a long time there could not be any. We could not make any noises. You know, oh. boyfriends, parents oh. upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. So I could not make noise, and I find now that I actually, it's almost, you know, the out-of-body experience, for me, it's like out-of-body experience hearing myself, like, what the fuck is that, yeah. you know? See, back, so, back in the before we could make noise, right? that was back before I learned to enjoy sex yeah. enough. I enjoyed masturbation, but I, before I learned to enjoy sex with a man enough that I would make the noises honestly. Oh. Well, the first time you're having sex with a guy... It's not enjoyable. Yeah. But, I mean, let's face it. You pop your cherry and you're in pain and then you're, it's, oh. it's not good. And it takes a little while for you to learn to enjoy having sex with a partner. Oh, yes. Especially when you've learned to pleasure yourself. And so you orchestrate the noises. Yeah. As and a teenager, faces. as a teenager and in my early 20s, yes, you orchestrate the noises and you do something that is going to make it the first few times, make a noise that's going to turn him on so much that it's going to be over. Yeah. <laughs> That you're going to make this noise that is so going to... So you can stop? So that he'll finish. So you can stop. Because you're enjoying it, but there's a certain point when you're not going to orgasm and you know you're not going to orgasm, there's a certain point where you're like, okay, I've gotten all the pleasure out of this I'm going to get. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Luckily, later in life, I learned how I, I to... I missed something. <laughs> no, I think I'm no. supposed to be t- paying attention right Later, now. <laughs> I learned to communicate enough with my partners to let them know what it was right, that I needed right. from them. So I have a question about noises, okay. to women specifically. And tell me if I'm saying this wrong, because we have this we problem have with this. Okay. Is this queefing? Yes. Oh, God, I oh. hate queefing this. Queefing is so it's, upsetting. That's a good time to laugh, actually. Yeah, and I yes. love it. <laughs> a, I love it. I think it's so cute and he wonderful, it's, he and it's, it's like, absolutely adorable. And you feel accomplished as a guy. You <laughs> oh, you're make you're awesome! You're like, you didn't awesome, make anything. Doctor. She made it. No, he feels oh, no, accomplished. I made oh, I guess it, it depends. What? Trust me, I <laughs> was right, responsible okay. for yeah, making no, no. some of that. As far as he's <laughs> it's concerned, so cute. he's the one that you're awesome. did the job. Yeah. It depends on at what point. That's really awesome. I mean, it's just oh, it's a good point. Look what I did. Discussing the the discussion is you're like a balloon. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> I know. pumped you up full of air. Exactly. 
<laughs> I mean, <laughs> you, can, you can go in the garage and make the same sound with a bicycle <laughs> pump, but, you know, why do that? Oh, you I know, mean, I think I'm confusing noises. Queefing is when you release air from your vaginal canal. I was thinking, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what were you thinking? Similar, but, but lubrication noises. Well, no, often it comes from, actually, I think you have to be lubricated in order to queef. Yeah. But but there's that noise where there's no air. It's just the, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. that noise. Oh. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. That's why I was saying you made it, or maybe he made it. Well, I uh, I think the air hurts sometimes. Have you found that when Do you're what? releasing it or when it's being forced in? Forced in. Yes. Yeah, yes. It doesn't so feel. It's not. That's it not. It doesn't no. feel good. Wait, wait a minute. What is this? The bicycle pump question again? <laughs> so, so when the bicycle pump is filling, it's yeah. not. Oh, really? Necessarily yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Well, yeah. So if you if, if you're you being queef, pumped full that's of air, maybe not a good thing. No, it's the no, release it's, of air, yeah, so it's, it's positive. Makes it okay. Okay, but the process. But you're having sex at the time. This is and completely it's unsexy. But think about it. When you We're fart, it's sex. a good release. Yes. Right. Yes. It's the same thing. Your vaginal canal is full of air. The air needs to come out somehow. Yeah. Right. So when it's out, you feel relieved. It's a good time to change positions, though. Oh. If you're continually pumping air in. Mm. I don't think it's comfortable. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Ms. I learn something every day. What? You know what? I learn something I like on it. Strange Love Live. I, I just think imagine next, that. Is there next? anybody in the chat room still? Because I yeah. can just imagine, like, oh, yeah. that's where Queef came out. That I was like, Google news apps no. twitter oh no 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 there's a steady what's going on in identica is there's, anything there's... happening over there really I mean, that really embarrasses you that's it a, doesn't embarrass me at a, all it's a fact of life i, mean, I know just... i think it's awesome and what i think that that would be i think that that would be a time to laugh I it think. is a time well, to sure. it's a great time Absolutely. because you know like women i mean it is such a derogatory term is it yeah, yeah. Oh. and you know like if you really want to insult somebody that's a pretty good insult really yeah and um, what's a nicer way to say that there's no nicer there way to isn't say it. i wish there Nice so so it's, it's a negative thing. Yeah, and I mean, and, and it's like totally stigmatized in college. Well, just like and farting isn't a positive term, right? right. Because there's yeah, it's it's different. But this is even worse because correct. It's, it's, like, it's, oh, it's worse. How dare your vagina yeah. speak? <laughs> it's almost like that's the you're a whore. It's like the whore thing. It's like yeah. you're the whore of, yeah, of this your, moment. Your because vagina you're, has a reaction to something, and it's not just like <laughs> oh lying my God. there perfectly still. Oh, God forbid your vagina not be polite. Okay, now that 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 actually is a good follow up question. So uh, I think that's very interesting because now you're talking about social norms about my vagina doesn't react to sex, which your vagina does react to sex, and so does your mm-hmm. clitoris. Mm-hmm. So you have queefing, you have natural body fluids mm-hmm. that happen. Mm-hmm. I mean, is that also a stigma as well? You know, if you have a, a lot of um, a vaginal lubricant or I, I an know, orgasm i know there's people there's women that i forget what, what's it called when they can actually like, female, oh, ejaculation. Female, yeah, female ejaculation yeah female ejaculation that actually are really embarrassed about it yeah right so it's it's I just amazing <laughs> i want to be able to do that i like look at it how do you do that really I do. I yeah sorry yeah. it's like such a good orgasm according it to seems the pornography that i watch <laughs> You and me both, actually. I don't know why. Like, you yeah. assume, why do you assume it's a better orgasm? I because the porn and the thing. I trust because the internet. Because there's action. Trust porn. Don't trust there's, porn. Because there's action. Okay. I, I, I don't. I don't, know, I don't want to female in my ejaculate. First, it's let me messy. tell you. I was. 18 years old when I took my first human sexuality class in San Francisco State and um and there was this video that the that the professor showed of that and I was like whoa my mind was totally blown and I'm a goal oriented person so <laughs> to me it's just how can like, we help you reach your goal well because it was all masturbating she was just yeah. masturbating and, and mm-hmm. my understanding is is that it's stimulation of the g-spot that will do it hmm. um so I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, I, I don't. Maybe perhaps I have done it. Start practicing. I know. In my fantasy life, I I do do that. Okay. I don't know if it's real. Well, you though. can visually, you know, female ejaculate in your yeah. head. You yeah. Yes. See yourself. I know. Anymore. It's all well, part look, of manifesting. But the opposite <laughs> is worse, right? The opposite is, you know. The opposite of have female, no lubrication. I really having yeah. no lubrication. That's why. Well, that's why that's you what, need to buy lubricant. Yeah. Right. Everyone should have. Everyone lubricant. should. Have, Everyone should have lubricant. Yeah. Well, even so, even. Very sexual women sometimes, or sometimes in sexual situations, you need lubricant. I mean, yeah, yeah, all the time. You should have it. When you masturbate, lubricant, Mm -hmm. BFF. Yeah. 
Yeah. But get the right kind. Yes. Correct. We went over this. No spermicide. Yeah, no spermicide, no glycerin. Right. Talk to the sex and store. KY works. Right? No, 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 no. Not KY? No, no. Go to the sex store. Oh, now it's organic buy. lubricant. No, no, you know no, what? No, no. If the best no. that you can do is walk into your grocery store and buy lubricant, as long as it doesn't have sperm side, KY is okay. Yeah, that's fine. It is fine. If you're not going to go to a sex shop and get a special lubricant, there's nothing wrong with going to the grocery store and picking up some KY as long as you know it's working for your body. Well, and yeah. Fred Meyer, I think they have Astroglide and stuff. Oh. You know, they have a bunch of different so what's kinds. Your, okay. But so. don't get the spermicide. And to me, I... Don't get I, the funny just flavored in, ones. Ex- yeah, exactly the funny flavored ones gonna say. The, don't are get massage that. oils. They yeah. are not... Not intended. They are not no, intended no, toward, not for inside. sexual lubricant. And no. never get anything with cinnamon. Nope. Or mint. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> this is important. But wait, I mean, I've had a lot of and never ever, unless you really finals. like tingly burning, never let your partner go down on you after they've brushed their teeth. Oh uh-huh. yeah, or had an Altoids, right? Oh God, with the Altoid, yeah. The thing with the lubrication is, it's not just that it makes it more comfortable um, for vaginal or anal, any kind right, of right, right. But, but it actually transfers feeling a little bit better. Mm-hmm. So it also helps to avoid not even just with uh, in actual the intercourse, uh-huh. um, even with uh-huh. clitoral stimulation to to reduce chafing. Yeah, and hand jobs. Don't forget and hand jobs. Exactly, you can't give a hand job without no. A lubricant. You can't give a good hand job without lubricant. Mm-mm. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, no if you're in a way. pinch, but you can give a much better no, hand job with don't, lubricant, yeah. or if you have strong calloused skin <laughs> 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 from lots of masturbation. <laughs> Okay, I think we're ready for our next question. I am too. <laughs> you started so, um, another female who may be named Jane Sexy. Right. Um, these are actual questions Did from actual know? individuals, but we've anonymized I was afraid them. I had to make them all up. I didn't have to make any up. No, it was fantastic. No, they are actual questions. We've no, no, just, no. all the names have been changed Get to protect to it, the, the dirty. Um, so say you started something with someone new and it's been ages since you've given an uncircumcised penis a hand job. Oh, this is a good question. Say you preferred blowjobs, but you're not really ready to give a blowjob yet. Now, this is, this seems like two questions to me. Just read the whole thing and then we'll... Oops. What are your opinions? Oh, I see. Oh, geez. This is multiple What are your choice. options? <laughs> Do you, uh, consult with multiple friends to figure out what? you should be doing or just go ahead and tell the person hey i don't know what i'm doing really yeah because you were in a long-term relationship and maybe you never gave a hand job to completion that's my question so this is multiple questions okay, now a, hang on so there's lubricant. something about wait, 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 wait. so there's a question specifically about uncircumcised penis yes and i think that's we should take that question first i think that's a great question if you're not and sure what very to do good question. with an uncircumcised penis what do you do speak to the owner of the uncircumcised penis and and i say this with any penis you say that like a car not. mechanic <laughs> <laughs> yeah now how have you been taking your, this uncircumcised your penis out engine. like do you drive it on sunday <laughs> kind of noises or? is it making <laughs> exactly <laughs> your kind diesel engine noises, we gotta talk right? about the diesel engine the diesel engine's like the uncircumcised penis exactly. if you don't know what to do with it then be honest maybe and you shouldn't talk own it. one <laughs> well there you go maybe you shouldn't own one maybe you shouldn't buy the wrong kind of oil so okay uncircumcised can i, can penis, I even go back do? further yeah. yeah and say that <laughs> i consider blowjobs and handjobs sex i think that's yes. sex and that if you're not comfortable doing that you shouldn't be doing it. It depends on what the definition of well, is is. The person is comfortable giving a hand job. They're just not. Perp- I'm just saying in general. I don't, in general. I, you know, uh, my hand job and blow job comfortability, they they hit the around the same time for me personally. Comfortability. Yeah, if, comfortability. If I'm handling the man's dick, I'm handling the man's dick. That's kind of how I am about it. However, if it's the whole, you know, again the car mechanic it, thing, right? It's, it's if it's the whole way. I, I am a mechanic. Will you wear if a you mechanic's sh- outfit next time we have sex? And <laughs> handling like in Cannonball yeah. Run with the zipper? Oh, yeah. 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 That's sexy. hot. Yeah, give me Can't one. Do you yeah. film that? Um, <laughs> Put it on that website. Yeah. Um, I, I really think that if your concern is the extra skin, oh. that you just need to talk to the owner of the extra skin yeah. and, and be honest with him. Mm-hmm. I'd like to just come to defense of the, of the woman who asked that question and that I would be more likely to touch something with my hand than put it in my mouth. I can understand that there's a, a different comfort level there. Would it be, would it be different um, 
circumcised or uncircumcised? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I think, I mean, I remember when I um, had my first uncircumcised experience and with a boyfriend because, honest to God, like, I've actually never had a one-night stand. That's the truth. Um, but, uh, sure. And it's because so people s- who do that are sluts. So no, yeah, exactly. Hello. <laughs> no, it really you? does go. And they creep. It really does. <laughs> go back to the back. <laughs> they queef, yes. I've actually never been hit on in a bar too. That's the truth. That's that the I find hard to you know No, it's Melissa, honestly true. Melissa, I've next time we're in a bar, I'm going to hit on you. There Thank you. you. Yeah. I know because I'm 33 years old and I've never been hit on in a bar. I've never been given Karaoke a phone night, number in a bar. A bar. I'm going to slip you my digits. Yeah, Where never. Yeah. I've never been given a phone number in a bar. Oh, no, wait. The, two weeks ago <laughs> oh, when now. I went lesby dancing, a lesbian yeah, gave me her phone number. Oh, was that was that the pity one though? Yeah, I think she gave like several people her phone I numbers. I read the post. I yeah. read the post and it was I know. That pity I know. Part, Basically, though. the whole no, Lesbian dancing there thing. There were some. Was, there were some lesbians that maybe felt topic. a little sorry for yeah. Melissa. Sorry. That okay, night. but anyway, okay. Don't want to talk about but it was really it, as much as I. I believe that circumcision, whether it's male or female, is a form of abuse to children. I really do believe that because it is. It deadens the sensation um, for the penis and for the person who owns the penis. Their sensations are infinitely less than a circumcised person or than an uncircumcised person would be. But it is still really startling like as an American girl you know to, to see that and this boy was born in um, another country and um, hello boy from another country <laughs> yeah. all boys who aren't circumcised are born yeah, in another they're country they're foreign right? which is weird and they might be what do you, so what do you think I mean there's this whole thing about circumcision speaking as a circumcised man yeah who we can tell grew up in this country yeah there's can you tell about you. actually is there something about my my face in clothes it's the way you walk the way i walk you walk like a guy that's been circumcised Do I limp a little bit or yeah. something ow no my mom like did that, this that was the bullshit length. thing to me like oh. a couple of years ago you what know? <laughs> no, no, not do you want to come sit on the couch not we'll the sit you want some therapy? no not the circumcision <laughs> But she did this thing like, I've been doing this reading and watching the talk shows, and I realize that circumcision is mutilation now. Oh, God. And I'm really sorry that in 1964, <laughs> when you were a baby, I just, I'm like, Mom, it's kind of moot now, yeah. isn't it? I mean, Did it's she save like, it for you? No. Um, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, it doesn't really make a difference now, you yeah. know? But there's this whole thing about, you know, you're taking away something natural. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, it's, I mean, I really do feel like i don't I miss mean, it as a mom i have I to say how that would you know though exactly how would i know you wouldn't know but i just i think, I mean, I think that it's had completely a it's just such morning. a social thing it has no benefit beyond like a social acceptance and then according to my OBGYN, you know on the coasts people are going oh. to the uncircumcised really? route i mean in drugs now there, now the there, majority in the now, in the now there is, some, there is still you know the research about sexually transmitted diseases no no no, no. no but there's there is some about hiv there's continues to be some things about that if i mean i don't know if you have sex with someone who's hiv positive you have a chance to contract hiv whether no, no, you're I'm talking circumcised about, or not but there's been some maybe you just don't it. put your dick in something that you yeah, don't maybe wear that you don't know about no, this, i'm talking about circumcised versus uncircumcised yeah but here's the thing you don't walk around with an uncircumcised penis and get hiv from the there, air okay okay forget forget <laughs> i said that there's also the risk of priapism <laughs> Priya prism. Oh God! Do you know how? I mean, you have a better. Don't drive a car because you're gonna get in a <laughs> Actually, car accident. Actually, knew a accident. guy who had that though. So what? Like okay. that? Whatever. Like okay, I knew a guy who ate pop rocks and drank coke and then. Died. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move along now because now we're just getting oh, wait. really. Well, no, 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 no. We, we, we haven't answer. finished the. Un- so okay. I, I want to know. So to to all of you as women, oh. a circumcised penis or an uncircumcised penis is the same. Or what is the no. difference? No, I'm seeing no. I've never seen one, so I don't know. You've never seen what? An uncircumcised You've never even Googled one? What? Maybe I have seen them then. Good point. Wait a minute. In uncircumcised person. or circumcised? What haven't you Un- seen? Uncircumcised. Okay. No, even though so your goes, husband is from a foreign country? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah, trust me. And what do you think? You know. Oh, I think that, um, but I've only been with one uncircumcised guy. So, okay. Um, and and which was, do you prefer? Or what? What is there a difference or do you not care? It's just a I, I think that um, I don't, I don't, it's not like, I, I, I don't know that I have a preference, but I think that for the man's pleasure, I think that uncircumcised men have a more pleasurable sex, sexual experience. Mm, they've got more. 
Nerve with, endings then, right? Okay. Yeah, and okay. it's not yeah. as chafed. I mean, if you think about it, the, the head is the most sensitive part of the penis, and mm-hmm. if it's rubbing against your boxers, your jeans all day, or whatever it is, oh. it's going to lose sensation, just like anything will. And so, you know, if you have the foreskin covering it, then... So, once Melissa, it becomes you just erect, amp that up a little bit more. It's not a problem. Trust me. <laughs> well, yeah. if you just... You know, once it's erect, then the foreskin retracts, and yeah, and okay. it looks almost like 100% like a oh, okay. circumcised penis. Go see a John Holmes po- classic porn movie, okay, and you'll see. Okay, thank you. I, she had a good point. I've probably seen it. I, I met in person. Right. You know, yeah. four feet away or whatever. Uh, or, <clears throat> so my answer to the original question mm-hmm. was to tell the person that it's been a while. You want them to have a pleasurable experience, and to either do it together or to watch him do it, or to Ooh. do probably the hand job first, I would think. I yeah, agree I would you. say, though, do if it she's stages. so early in the relationship that she's not able to give him a blowjob, she might not be comfortable enough to discuss. That's the thing. Then you shouldn't be doing it. Comfort in discussion with sex usually comes after you've had it. You shouldn't be doing it, then. If you can't talk to the person, I don't think you should be having sex with the person. Mm, I think I need to be able to have sex with someone I mean, get past the whole sexually transmitted disease discussion, but I have to have sex with someone before I'm really comfortable discussing sex. Really? You can shrug your how wow. how much did we talk about? You want sex me to shrug my nose at you? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Doctor Normal. That's not good advice, though. Of no, course, this is not. An I didn't advice. say it was good <laughs> advice. Right. I yeah, said me personally. Or not professionals. <laughs> yes. right. I said me personally. I didn't say that Cammy's the bright spot of knowledge in the universe. <laughs> I said I generally am comfortable having discussions with sex about sex with someone after. Well, I've you ask like a couple questions, like, "What's do your you have middle name?" or something like <laughs> yeah. that. You know, it's kind of like, "Do you have cooties? What's your middle name?" Like, you know, did you sleep with ten guys like in the last day? You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. I mean, if, if both people are like, God, it's been a while, you're like, oh, that's that's a safe answer, right? You know? There's the whole, have you been tested for a disease? Yeah, question. that's always a that's good important. question to ask. So yeah. you talked a little bit. I asked you him what his middle name bit. was. Hello. Okay. It was more like, what kind of soap do you like? Well, this is the soap I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's romantic. Yeah. Ooh, soap. Oh, it, <laughs> soap talk. Okay, next question. It's been a while. So, clean cup, clean Just cup. Oh, oh, down, wait, wait, the final thing. Everyone oh, had wait, smiles on their faces after. <laughs> the final thing was, you can ask for the person to uh, make certain noises when you're going the right way and to not make them when you're Tell not. Tell me if you like it. Yeah. Right, right. Feedback. I love that when a person or when a guy just say, asks me that. How about you give anal sex? Anal, excuse me. Uh, oral <laughs> yeah. sex to me. <laughs> well, Was that a Freudian slip, sorry. Miss Burroughs? Bend down, maybe. <laughs> you know. Okay. You know, I will say that I have a traumatic memory, and you ladies probably do too, of the head push down. Have you gotten that? Uh huh. High school? Oh, You're yeah. You're kissing them, and they push your head down. Oh, I thought you meant when you were already down there. No, well, sometimes that too. <laughs> Cam, ma'am. Cam, Cam ma'am. Cam with me on that one. <laughs> but the whole, like, you're here somewhere and they're like, Grr. No, but I've had, the, I've had the already working on it and the head shove. Why would they shove your head sexy. if you're already down there? Because they want it deeper. Oh, that's different. They want to take it no, deeper No, I'm talking about throat. that. I can't oh, that, communicate. I'm going to just shove your head oh, down. That no. seems like you have to have some control. I mean, because you can't just, like, Grab plus, I have to spend thirty dollars on dinner before. I yeah. <laughs> well, exactly. I'm talking high school, high school, yeah, high school too. My standards were that high. Can we go high back school? to the question about being slut wait, and wait, slutty? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> your standards weren't what? I'm just kidding. You it was like thirty-five dollars. Yeah. How much? How much do we need to spend, <laughs> Melissa? Okay. Huh. Okay. Huh. I'm just right. kidding. I'm ne- kidding. Well, good. I'm Next glad question. you guys didn't have that experience. No, no I totally did. But as oh, an no. adult, <laughs> I did. No, because. But then I had, um, but then like the high school boyfriend that I loved did probably did that too. But I thought he was so hot; it didn't matter. I was like, uh, whatever. Yeah, if anyone yeah, ever did that to me, like, let me look at you. Because if anyone whoa. ever did that to me, then it didn't. It was I was ready enough that it didn't affect me. Well, okay. So so let me ask the follow up question, which is, um, do you like a guy who takes charge like that? 
I mean, maybe not like that. I mean, there's like, you know. I think when I'm giving yeah. oral sex don't to someone. Don't you hate when a guy's like fumbling around and going, oh, I don't know. it's when, like a get your shit together. When I'm giving something to someone, I get to be in charge. If I'm giving you something, I'm in charge. Where do you go this way? I'm on top. On top. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm, a, really? I'm better yeah, with it better when I'm on my side. And so you're asking about 69, right? Yeah. I, I'm just not. I like to pay attention to what I'm doing. Oops. Oops. And I like to pay Careful. attention to what Don't I'm getting. Anymore. See, that's what I see. That's what I love about it, though, is that you can't like the tension of it, I think, is so fantastic uh-huh. um, that you can't focus on 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 it 100 percent. I absolutely love that. I mean, it's like the build up <laughs> to <laughs> Kami and I are like, what <laughs> the hell are you no, talking I about? I like it. I, mean, I like it as foreplay, just not yeah. as a finish. Oh, I can get off that way. Oh, yeah. No, I have a hard time because I'm too busy paying attention to making sure that he's going to get off. See, I kind of divide it and, and then I forget about him. <laughs> but yeah, you need your mic on. Yeah, we're going to have to. Cam Bam can come and share my mic for a moment if she yeah. needs to speak. Um, but I, I think that I think that more couples should try it, and that would be really good for the person like four or five questions oh, that, yeah, who, who said that something, they don't but want, not freaky. Yeah, yeah not yeah. freaky. I mean, it's such a fantastic thing. And um, also you know, for that person, mutual masturbation. Oh, oh I thought of something else. They yeah. could shave all the hair. That's a oh, whole oh, different sensation. Yeah, that is but nice. Not yeah. too much. Be wary but, and I mean, both parties, both parties yeah, yeah, yeah. could do some shaving. Right. Mm. Yeah. Good one. But be careful, everyone. Careful with the sharp things around. Oh them. yeah, yeah. Use a use a use an electric oh, shaver, yeah. or just go and have it waxed, or wax it. Yeah. But but in, in let me just give a shout out to um, oh. the face place because she'll do it. She'll give you a Brazilian or like you know a full wax, and she'll put numbing on it. There, it's no. a little bit more expensive, no. but you go in there a half hour ahead, and she has this numbing stuff that she gets from the dentist. She says she needs oh, it from her yeah. dentist, and then she gets like a ton of prescription. She goes to her dentist like once a week <laughs> to get it all, and so then it's like twenty bucks extra. Uh-huh. But because like when you wax. Oh, no. Don't care. Twenty bucks extra. No, I have know. my twenty dollars. Yeah, if you're like getting a Brazilian, you need that numbed because that is painful. Is that? I haven't bothered. Oh God. <laughs> well, I'm part Ukrainian and part Portuguese. Like, oh. you gotta get okay. Things work. Okay. Make wow. everything perfect. <laughs> so twenty bucks extra. Perfect. Twenty. Not, not as perfect as I can be, which is okay. gross. It's, um, it's close. Oh, you said gross. No. I'm sure it's not gross. No. Um, sure yeah, twenty bucks extra. Dory in the face place. She's awesome. Mm. And then when you get a Brazilian, it's very, it's a very personal experience. Like mm-hmm. I think that my waxer has seen parts of me my gynecologist has never seen. Yeah. And gynecologists, they see a lot. They do. Yes. That, that, was, that was a funny is joke. It's temporarily right? going to fill in here. We're going to ask the next Watch question. Out for the glass. All right. This question <laughs> is from. Jeff? Oh, no. I mean... It's okay. No, it's okay. It's John. <laughs> Jeff John. Jeff hey. John Jeff. John Sexy. Do you think porn is degrading to women? And if so, how? And if not, why not? I think the, the first tricky part is lumping all adult videos into Correct. porn. So, so that's the first thing I would not do. There are some wonderful women directors out there. Oh, I don't think that... I, I think that it depends on the woman performing the porn, not the woman directing the porn. Well, sometimes they're self-directed also. That's true. And a lot of them are porn stars that then direct other porn stars. Correct. I think that... Um, it, it depends on... I mean, there's all different kinds. There's the more romantic stuff that can... Is it Candida Royale? Uh-huh. I think I keep making her sound yeah. like a yeast infection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where it's this story in the beginning and it's sort of couples sex and it's fantasies when it's something naughty. Yeah. So let me ask you something. You find the subject matter uh, controls whether it's degrading or not. I think it depends on whether the woman herself feels degraded when she's making it. I don't think you can degrade someone who doesn't feel degraded. Okay, follow up. Follow-up question then, is porn solely the domain of men or do you think many women consume it? And is that why you brought up women directors then? Right. I don't think it's the only the domain of men. I think many more women are taking charge of it. Is there even like a channel now? 
watch something? I don't. I don't have TV. Oh, on the uh, internet. I don't know. Probably. I don't know. There's there's definitely more women directors. I I think. I think I that they're, what the, the porn industry is realizing is that the heterosexual female is actually has a lot of cash to spend and is yeah. one of their biggest um, audiences now. So they're changing it a little bit to to reflect that. I mean, with the they're boom in sex it. toys, mm, and, yeah. you know, they're realizing that. I think, I personally, I... Don't like it if they don't look like they're genuine. Yeah. You know, if it's too fake yeah. or... Really, I like them just between fake and genuine. I like them dolled up just enough that I know that they had to work for it. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm being honest. Work yeah. for what yeah. though? Work to for... To look that way. Oh, jeez. Seriously. And, and, but I don't want them to be like crack whore, skinny, crazy yeah. people. See, I think I, mean, I want them to have real bodies, but I want them to look like they've tried to look good. I just want to believe it, really, and I don't want to know who the hell they are. I don't necessarily need to believe it. Porn is fantasy. I I, I hate thinking about all the horror stories about teenage girls going into well, it. Yeah, and, I don't. You know, and like I don't like all of girls. I don't. I don't. I don't want to start thinking about that. So it's good when they honestly look like they're enjoying what they're doing. Oh, that's we, what I mean. I, we'd have missed it. Yeah, yeah oh, okay. no, they should look like they're enjoying what they're doing. Yes. Okay. I think. I mean, I have a couple of thoughts. In in like in this, we can t- do a little tech talk here. <laughs> hey, chat room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, tech like, talk for you. Some no chatting one's monitoring about the anymore. Techie <laughs> things on the internet. Stop teching all over the place. <laughs> um, so, but with the rise of the internet and blogging and everything, it really has become. I mean, the the the, the citizen journalism. Well, the, now there's the citizen pornographer. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> TM Melissa Lyon thank you very much but um, but you know like you could really and you know with flip cameras and everything you can you can film yourself fucking or you can film other people or and, and it really has become um, a very real thing and one of my favorite sex bloggers Violet Blue she writes a blog called Tiny Nibbles um, she did not Nibbles Nibbles yeah, yeah. Is nibbles. <laughs> like Tiny Nibbles <laughs> And uh, but she's amazing, and she she also has a tech blog too, um, just to let you know that. But she um, was a writer on Boing Boing and everything before they kicked her off before because of her smut talk. But um, yeah. anyway, she did not go to the annual porn convention, but on her blog she posted pictures of women at the blog or at the porn convention. <laughs> It's very similar. And these women had like <laughs> gigantic bowling ball tits, and their hair was bleach blonde, and they were like you know like posing for the camera and it was and then in her next shot she had a picture of you know like you know some self-made porn or just like one above self-made and it was so much hotter than that and so I think that like the professional porn star is out and to me what has really opened my eyes up to pornography is is more natural looking people couples doing it women doing it alone um and and that's really due to the rise of media being cheap and the internet my own follow-up question. Then. Yeah, I am. Cam Is that, do you watch this, like, do you find a style of porn then that you like and then continue to watch? Or do you watch different types of porn for different types different of reasons? Times. Like, if you're by yourself or with a partner or maybe this would be something that that woman who said maybe things are getting boring, she could just kind mm-hmm. of, out of curiosity, see what else is out there mm-hmm. uh, just for her own self that might help her feel like things are a little bit more spicy in the bedroom or... Yeah. Too many <laughs> I think it's good to see all different kinds of porn. Um, I mean, there's some stuff that I think when you identify easy to something you, don't you want. like, mm-hmm. it's not bad to to revisit it. Mm-hmm. But do you get bored with the movie if you watch the same movie over and over? You know, I'm not really big into porn movies. I like mm-hmm. photographs. Excuse me. Do you get bored? <laughs> Um, well, no, because I just go on the internet, so I don't... People on your don't, internet. Jeez. I know, no, go on the internet. Yeah, I don't know why you would buy porn movies when you could go on the internet no, no, and find buy stuff. buy them, we rent. Well, yeah, but I don't... You know what I mean? I just... The internet is fantastic. Because um, I like to research them and see what ratings they get, <laughs> and then it's like, you know, you pick two, I pick two, let's see what they're like. Fantasy video is great for that. I like the internet. Do, the same one? I do. 
But I also Can't Bam asked I, if Miss Burroughs got bored watching the same. Yes, I get ones. bored watching the same. Porn it's just like watching. Well, it's just it? like watching the same episode of a TV show over well, and over again. Well, exactly. I was gonna say. Unfortunately, I have a really good memory, mm-hmm. so I like know what's coming next. And <laughs> aha! But um bum. But um bum. The uh, a lot of the formats are the same, you mm-hmm. know. Which you know, okay, guy and a girl. Now it's gonna be two girls. Now the guy the came in. Guy, oh, ding know? dong! Woo-hoo. Oh, look, the sloppy guy <laughs> came okay, in. Here. Ding dong! Woo-hoo. Yeah. <laughs> so there's actually it's it's nice when you get something really unique and different. And I think I went off topic here. Um, Next see, question. I you don't sign up for porn sites though. Where do you get? See, well, no, I swear to God, Violet Blue, she's got links and she's got okay. pages and pages and pages of. No, when you say porn, are you, are you saying stills or are you saying videos? No, videos. Hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, if you go to her site, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. And, and some of it's too kinky for me. I don't. I don't know. Some of it's too kinky, but she's got like such hot stuff on there. I mean, there's this thing in San Francisco, the um, oh, what's it called? The something something marching band. The all something marching band. Sex. No, it's like I the all. That might be in there oh, somewhere. what is it? Oh, something marching. Anyway, okay. um, chat room. We don't have anybody reading the chat no. room. No, um, chat room. I but anyway, it's room. awesome, and it's like this whole sex show. But they're a marching band, and in, and they're like they have cheerleaders, but the cheerleaders are wearing g-strings. I mean, to me, that's so hot. I have a question. And you can go to the show and everything. Because I'm a thong girl. I love thongs. Yeah, I'm a boy shorts because I have a big ass. Well, I wear boy shorts too. I either wear boy shorts or thongs. Actually, almost exclusively one or the other. My question is, I don't like G-strings at all, so where do you sit? And I've had people, they're the same thing. Where do you sit on the G-string V thong issue? I haven't worn a thong in years. I think thongs are really comfortable, but I hate G-strings. I don't think they are. Be- the G-string is the thin, thin strap, right? Uh-huh. Where the thong has a thong is like, like this. Like right. It's shaped like a T kind of. Or not even like a T. It's like a curved it's like a, a thing. A whale tail. Yeah, it's like a whale tail. It is. It's like a, a fail, fail whale tail. tail. <laughs> um, whereas a thong, as a G string, is is an elastic string that goes okay. up your ass crack. So the problem is that it's elastic, probably rather than just fabric. So maybe it's the elastic. Well, no, I've, I've had one that was a fabric, but it's still it's a string up your ass. I don't like yeah, a string I up don't my think ass. That would be comfortable. But that's what the thong ends up being, anyways. No, it doesn't. No, no. Hmm. No, because the thong lies. Well, she has flattering. a great ass. She does. Who has a great ass? Well, you both do. Oh, yeah. but oh, well, all three. You. Excuse me. Yeah, Sorry. Thank here. you. Uh, I happen to like everyone's phone? ass in this room. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Um, I don't. It depends on the day. I have like an array. Yeah. And then sometimes I don't feel like wearing anything because I'm yeah. lazy. So. Then you go commando. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think we're ready for our next question. Cam okay. Bam. All right. What? role do you see so sex helpful. toys having in the bedroom and if you would recommend one toy for a person to buy what would that be good questions uh i first i don't know why i'm taking over yeah Can no it's talk? awesome okay i was gonna Go say um Melissa to not limit yourself to, to the bedroom yeah. first of all <laughs> Just ready to snuggle. We'll go with that. You want to snuggle? <laughs> the taco tea made me happy. Yeah, I, went, I went popcorn and cuddle time. Yeah, get the popcorn then. Oh, no, Fine. I'm um, not allowed to eat on microphone. I'm sorry. Can you say again? <laughs> oh, oh, the first what part. Role? What role do you oh. think sex toys play in your sex life? We'll just change it from bedroom to sex life. Okay. Or what uh, role should they have in someone's sex life? Let's see. They. It depends on what you're doing. They can be your entire sex life. They can be an accessory. They can be a once in a while, spice it up. I think it depends on the person. It, too. it really depends on the relationship. Some people don't like plastic. Some people don't like, I mean, some people like flesh and blood. Mm-hmm. 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 And if that's your thing and you don't like a sex toy, then, you know, leave it out. But, but and you, it, well, you can even make a sex toy, anything. I mean, you can be a back. Ma- okay, know what, I'm not saying to use a back really, massager really graphic, inside of you. But you can you, use you your know. husband's penis as a sex toy. If you can get him That's to hold true. still That's and true. lay there hard, That's you true. can use That's it as a fun. sex toy. That's true. It is. It's yeah. really fun. Um, so that's something that you should be using as a sex toy. <laughs> and your hands. Your hands are a sex your toy. Your hands are a sex toy. Yeah. But as for like sex toys that you buy and bring into your home, it all depends on the person. Yeah. So favorites? Jamie Jane, the Cadillac of sex toys. See, now why is it so great? Because it's expensive, you it's said. It's expensive. It's um, all, what's the word? Does it make you laugh? 
Does it make me laugh? Yeah, because <laughs> I spent like three hundred dollars on my vibrator, <laughs> but it's awesome. Oh, it's so beautiful. And no, I don't know. It's like okay. two hundred fifty bucks. Or something. Oh, see, um, like, oh. that's a lot of money. But if it's, it's a, a lot good of massages, sex, yeah, but and no, but and then it's got several different speeds. Okay, because. Jimmy Jane is so I don't know. So I just what, love the what whole kind thing. of vibrate is this? A, is it? It's a an dildo insertion? that vibrates. Okay, there you go. Yeah, and then you can put it in both ways. See, because I know that the rabbit. I mean, both ways. I mean, like you can the the top is longer and skinnier, and then the base so it is can, like it can go in and stimulate. You can have yeah, a thick and long, or you can have a thin long and a, or a thick yeah, and short. You can, you can put it on. I mean, it's like you can put it. One. They're both top. They're both the top. You could put in either the bottom or the top. It's double sided. Well, I can't. Okay, <laughs> where is it? I know. Where can I bring it? <laughs> Why did you? It's just it shaped purse. really well, and, okay. it, and it feels good no matter how you do it. That's good. And I know that a lot of women are proponents of the rabbit, you know, which is the one. Yeah. And I don't. I think that you have. I think that that's. I don't know. If you have good luck with that, then more power to you. Yeah. But I have to say that my first sex toy that I bought, and I was married at the time, and wow, it was fantastic, and I still have one. Is the dolphin. And what the dolphin is, you can get them at Good Vibrations. And um, it's just a little silicon dolphin. And then it's got a little vibrator inside of it. And then it's got a cock ring on it. And it's really mm-hmm. expandable. So it's really multi-purpose because the guy can put it on and still, like, stimulate you. But then also, like, if he's not there, you can just More use sex it by toy. yourself. Oh, yeah, I just don't it. like any – I don't like any sex toy that's cutesy. Yeah. Like, that's a dolphin. I know, or but not a everyone rainbow, is a connoisseur a heart- of sex toys. Like, Correct. if somebody's looking for their first sex toy, a dolphin might be less – Oh, really? And the I first time I bought a sex toy, I was just like, I don't want anything that has a dolphin on it. <laughs> or food. <laughs> or a heart. Or anything that looks like a banana. Don't forget the oh, glass. I would like a heart one. That yeah. would make me feel special. <laughs> and like it loved me. Ooh, it would make you feel special and loved. Just stabbed you. <laughs> and then um, you felt her up. Yeah. I There's wonderful. The sorry. <laughs> there's wonderful things online about, you know, what are you going to do with a sex toy? And that's how you determine what you want. There, yes. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. But oh, this is also a question from a man. So okay. Oh, correct. Answer. Interesting. Not no. really. No. <laughs> There's different. I want to say fabrics, but that's not the word. Material. Thank you, materials. I would personally shun the cheap ass ones. Ha ha! There we go again. Uh, I think silicone's the best. Silicone and glass, uh, easier to clean. They're safer. They're, a lot of vibrators are made out of this mystery plastic. Yeah. That. I had one. I think it was porous. You, do, you don't want ones right. that are porous. You can you actually want ones that are non-porous. get infections from yourself. Yeah. Even if you don't. Yeah, absolutely. Well, because when it's in your body, it's controlled. When it's not in your body, it, it can well, fester and grow. The, the, the cheapy ones you can't really clean. Yeah. yeah. So you want something that you can clean really well, boil, like you said, dishwasher. Yeah. I like the silicone. I think toy, the Toy Factory, Toy Factory German company makes fantastic ones. They're more expensive, but I think it's worth Yeah, that. you get what you pay for. I think that you have to, like I said, you have to figure out what you want to do with it. If you want it to be inside, that's something different than if you want just something to put on your clit versus something in your uh, butt, you know, whatever. Anus. I don't like butt. Anal cavity. Fine. <laughs> Ain't old cavity. <laughs> Same. Uh, and, and then you can branch out. You know, G spot, curved for G spot, different materials. Also, I would like hot to and cold. I would like to suggest that something that you use on your sexual organs is not the only kind of sex toy that you can go for. You can also go for nipple clamps. That, oh, that's yeah. true. Um, although don't leave them on too long. Yes, don't leave them on too long. Oh, but you can go for nipple clamps, you can go for collars, you can go for silk ties. That's true. Uh, you can go for costuming. All sex toys. Um, sexy stories can be sex toys as yeah. well. Don't Massages. underestimate erotica. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Please don't underestimate And there are so it. many great erotica stories. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Short stories, books, anthologies. Mm-hmm. And I cannot stress enough that your partner can be a sex toy. You can use parts of your partner's body that you wouldn't even think to use as a sex toy. Mm-hmm. That's true. So moving on. <laughs> well, wait. I, was, I have one more thing. How's the chat room doing? I would say that you might also notice that as time goes on, you want to upgrade your sex toys. Yeah. The uh, the bullet just isn't doing it anymore. And that's to not be concerned about that. Too. Yeah. 
but you I would also don't want to say, start necessarily with the Hitachi one thing because you might blow yourself out of the also, room. Also, I, I would say be careful not to overuse a vibrator because you can desensitize yourself to other sensations if you vibrate too hard and too frequently. And lube. So how lube. important... Lube. lube with sex toys. How important is oral so sex to a successful long-term relationship? Incredibly. <laughs> Well, but no, but it does. It matters who. I think who it you depends on if the person yeah, wants to have the person. Yeah. If both people want it, or you know, if there's an imbalance there, then that might be a challenge. But really, so I mean, just a, if, as far as women go, or or what? I mean, um, I think it's important if it's important to that person. Okay. Hey, well, my, how's it going? She's in charge. Remember. So, let's see. Oh, I have a special request. No, you have a question that you didn't read. You know, it, we're, it's not school here. We can go through any damn questions if we want and save some for a later show. Um, we're going to be asked back. I don't why know we are. They were an important order. Why am No. Why am I asking this question? Because you took it. it because we have to, be to wrap up the show. Because that's a really good question. We started late. Okay. Yeah. Um... What? We talked about this, didn't we? No, we did not answer that question. I don't get this question. Con on date. Just, 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 just so down, the, sit down, The sit answer down. to your question was to talk about the person, talk to the person you're in the relationship with. Correct. About how important together. all sex is to their yeah. sex drive. Okay, so, and, so, and, and that's as far as uh, oral sex goes, right? Well, then you can... Well, I mean, is it important on both sides? I mean, is it important to it women? Depends on I think sex? it's important oh, that both that. members of the relationship express the importance level to their partner. Yes. You, I don't think you can say a blanket statement about that or anything. Really? Yeah. Some, some people, people don't like want something. to. Some yeah, people do. Yeah. Some people want to give Cam it all the time. Can't Bam has a comment. Can't Bam. Yes. You don't think in your circle of girlfriends there's just kind of an overall percentage of women that desire that and men that desire that? Yeah. No. Yeah. And, and, you know, can I just address one thing that I find disconcerting? And I was definitely one of these women is how that I did not want to give a blowjob. Like, I thought the funniest joke ever was why is the bride smiling on her wedding day? Because she knows the last blowjob she'll give. <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. I like that. <laughs> and it's a I totally. Funny joke. And, and, <laughs> but there is something really, really quite wonderful about giving blowjobs. And it's unfortunate that it's called a job. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, I was told that, that was my mouth's last free night on my. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, nice. Not by my husband. Whoa. Oh. 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 That would be. So that's a totally really different take. Sexy. I would like somebody yeah. to say that to me. I Maybe I'm on kind of a bottom. I always thought of myself as more of a dominant one. But I think You're I'm a not. bottom. <laughs> I like wow. to be bossed around a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> so noted. <laughs> Tell mm-hmm. Melissa what to do mm-hmm. all the time. That's so, just in that uh, aspect of my life. Don't tell me what to do any other time. Yeah. So take off um, Melissa's clothes and then tell her what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's take off your clothes and then tell Melissa what to do. So That's fair. So if you're going out on dates with someone and uh, you're not really, you don't see a long term thing going on, is it okay to sleep with that person? Yes. Okay. So Wait, there's more to so it. So Jane about- Sexy asks, she's going out on dates with this girl. And she's not that romantically into her. She wants to know if it's okay for her to sleep with her. Yes. My answer is yes, but you have to talk to her about it. What if it's wrong that 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 person likes them a lot and they don't? If that like, person likes you, likes a lot, them a lot, then so so out. so what she's saying is this question. is that <laughs> is that the girl she's dating is more into her than, than she's, she's into, into her, that girl. The other one, and you can sleep with her as long as you're frank. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Honest, open. So you, if I'm Frank Zappa, I could sleep with her. Oh, Frank awesome. Zappa can no sleep Frank with anybody. Zappa. No, done will home. Frank Dunwall Zappa is dead. No, he can't no, have stop, sex with stop. anyone. No. Dead people don't get to have sex. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm Frank. How sexual a city is Portland? I like that question. I think, it's, that. I think it's very sexual. You know what? Really? I, I think that on the top, I think overtly it's really sexual. <laughs> yeah. But on the bottom, the not but so I, much. I think that you have like anything else, you've got that top layer of people that are like so upfront about their sex that it, it sets other people off and it, it pulls like, other people Wait a minute, about their sex or so their sexual? About sex? Yeah, or their sexual I'm saying orientation. because we have so many strip clubs in Portland oh, and because right. there are people, you know, I think that to, to a certain extent that and sex shops 
And I think that it makes other people really pull back. It makes other people so self-conscious about it that so they pull back. You feel like the audience in a strip club is, is pro-sex? No. I didn't say that. Okay, but isn't didn't you just say that you felt it was very no, sexual? No, the, the, the strip clubs being out there right. is very sexual. Okay. I'm not saying that people attending them. I'll, you know, you've got people that are very liberated attending strip clubs, mm-hmm. and then you have people that are hiding in the right, corner of the right. strip club, embarrassed that they're there, that would pray that no one that they know showed up. Right. And if they did, they would try to make some excuse and hide and run away. So maybe I'm assuming when he said sexual, I was assuming it was pro-sexual, not just... Sexual. That's what I'm saying is I don't think that Portland is any more pro-sexual than, than any other major metropolitan city on a coast. It's way more sexual than the, the Midwest. Middle. Well, More pro-sexual and open about it than the Midwest. I think that the strip clubs oh. are really a beneficial part of Portland. I mean, because, I mean, as a Californian... <laughs> Go strip former, clubs. Former. <laughs> former Californian. I mean, you would go to strip clubs and it was because it, I had never been to a strip club before I moved to Portland. And um, if you were to go to a strip club, it was because it was a bachelor party and you had like $150 you wanted to blow because they're mm-hmm. very expensive in California. And and it was like this woo thing. And, and I remember my first time at a strip club and I was like, and then I went to a strip club, you know, like, I mean, it was just kind of a big deal. And so, but there is, there are women naked there. Mm-hmm. And and it's really ev- well for in California to see. isn't it, don't they have to have undies on in California? Yeah, if there's alcohol there, you have to wear you have to be clothed. Yeah, you still. can't have any pubic hair. Yeah, showing. yeah. There's yeah, it's something weird. I don't know. I didn't go to them, but um, you know, I think that kudos to Portland for having women naked in front of people, and it's really interesting. And I don't know. I was but kind why of, you you think strip clubs are pro sex? I think that I think that they encourage. Yeah, a pro-sexual How? attitude. How? Well, I was just going to, and I don't know, I'm still kind of like working this out a little bit. That's fine. But, I'm just wondering. Um, mm. But I think that that to be, I mean, I don't see, like it's all just up to who is there, but I mm-hmm. think to be turned on out in the open is something interesting. I mean, that everyone's going there and that there is an element of eroticism to it and to varying degrees. But even if you're there and you think it's ha-ha funny, it's still really, I mean, there's still really something sexy about seeing a naked woman up there on a pole. The difference would be... Mike? Pro-sex versus pro-sexuality. And there's a big difference, Ah, good right? point, good point. Yeah. yeah, because you're not, yeah, you're not going to have sex with a stripper. Right. Right. And, yeah. and so it's not, you know, you're not going to go home and get laid. Although when I go to a strip club, I tend to come home and feel, and there's a really great article by Caitlin Flanagan to, if you want to Google it about going, she's in LA and she goes to a strip club and she goes with her girlfriends and she comes home and she just is so ready for her husband when she gets home mm-hmm. and he stayed home with a kid and he's asleep when she gets home. Yeah. He's like, not ready. Yeah, baby. <laughs> um, so There's that element to it, I mean, of just like kind of an openness and then that there are a lot of sex shops and that sort of thing and that the discussion is really there and there is much more, there's a gay culture here in Portland that there isn't in other cities, Mm -hmm. even Mm -hmm. in San Francisco, you know, like in San Francisco, gay men stay in the Castro and lesbians stay in Berkeley and like Mm -hmm. nobody sees them. They stay in their proper places and where all the straight people go in. And, you know, so, I mean, it's, so in Portland, it's much more fluid about sexuality and everything like that where, and, and then in LA, you know, in LA, everybody is so perfect and plastic and, and there's not any, but fluid I think to anything. a certain extent, there's more discretion in Portland. Even everyone's out in the open and they're like, yeah, I'm honest about it, but I'm going to be quiet. Yeah. I think that there's more, it's still, it's not like, going to walk down the street screaming about it if you want to. I think there's more discretion in Portland when it's all incorporated together than there would be in Berkeley or Castro. Yeah. But how do you feel about paying a woman to take her clothes off? Um, I think that, I mean, it's the last time I went to a strip club. Like, I got three five weeks, bucks. I was just going to say. <laughs> um, I, I think that there's, I mean, there, I have like many, many, many thoughts about it and I really do love going to strip clubs. Um, and there is like kind of the element of, of a domineering thing, you know, like here's the dollar, like get up on that fucking pole girl, you know, right. and like take your panties off. Like here I am, do it. You know, I mean, and that's the, that's the relationship and there is something very attractive about that. Um, 
And then there was, and then I've noticed at strip clubs recently that the last one I went to, I went to Sassy's and they, they took off all their clothes and then each one of them simulated masturbation. And I had not seen that at a strip club before, you know, like touching her clit and putting her finger inside. And then she touched the money. <laughs> and wow. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> you know what dirty like, money yeah. is? I'm like, don't touch yourself. Yeah. And then the dirty. Bills. Money's Portland's dirty. very <laughs> liberal with the free speech in that area. Not all localities allow that touching. Oh, whoops. Sassy's. Not Sassy's. Yeah. It was called Brassies. No, no, no. no <laughs> I mean, it was not on Morrison. It was on yeah. Soros. Morrison. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> Weird. Um, but so, and I think about that too, that there, you know, that, that there she is masturbating. And to me, that's mm-hmm. something so fantastic to see a woman but do But there's that. a difference between, you know, watching an educational video or watching your friend do yeah. it and paying Watching to see friend my friend do it. masturbate. That would be awesome. <laughs> not tonight. That would be so great. I, I mean, I'm totally. That'll be after, I don't know. after, I'm not after, trying after to be hours. A pain. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I totally agree with you. I mean, there is this point, and then you see people's faces in the strip club, or the strip club, the stripper kind of like will lean down and like... Mm-hmm. Like the last one, she kissed my boobs and stuff, and I was like, "Whoa!" You know, I mean, I felt kind of like great and special. But don't you? They're doing that so they get, get more tips. money. I know. But if I they, know. so, here's my question used. to you, Miss Burrows. Yeah. Because you're asking mm, her, and you're me. really kind of laying it on there. Ooh, ooh. No, but <laughs> but but why sure. should she feel bad about it if they're willingly do that? How I mean, maybe the question should be, how should they? You know, maybe you want to ask them how they feel about it. But what she's doing, she's not doing anything wrong, assuming that these women are willingly doing what they're doing. Right. I, it, it's not that I think she's doing anything wrong. Mm-hmm. It's that I was trying to dissect how stripping, how a strip club can be sexual mm-hmm. when it's, when you're, I, I guess the point is, is, is it, is it, if you go to a strip club and you give them money, uh-huh. It's naughty. It's bad. And that's, is that what we get off on? Or do we get off on the fact that we want to be up on that pole with someone demanding that we take our clothes off? It's just that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know? I mean, I to- and I, I go through all of it at the strip club. Like, I am sitting there and I'm like, I really want to be up on that pole. I could really do that. And I know the song that I would strip to and mm. I know exactly what I would do. What would be the song? Kiss by Prince. It's my karaoke song too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> I just, I just wonder because you know the all the one second, all the um, you know like the uh, we wear the fishnets to feel sexy and the big boots and the we're basically our our like ideals are strippers and prostitutes and how did that happen? Uh, you, bar- you, it was Barbie when you can't feel sexy in a pair of jeans girls and a t-shirt. Kids. No, I certainly can. But how how did it get to that point where this is what you know? You look at the pinup girl pictures, or you look at the. I think that's a certain aspect of what's sexy. I don't think it's the end all be all of what we. Find I agree, but why? What is to. it about that? Well, what is it that being butt naked is sexy? What about it being in hair tight jeans and a t-shirt is sexy? I mean, it, it just it. it it evokes something visceral in Sorry. somebody. I took such a yeah. big breath. <laughs> For me, I didn't. I've never thought of it as like I'm Sorry. giving you a dollar and I'm demanding you take your clothes off. For mm-hmm. me, I always put myself in the position of the woman of like, you all get to mm-hmm. see how fabulous mm-hmm. I am, mm-hmm. and you're going to give me your money. Yeah. I mean, I guess uh-huh. I never thought of it as in yeah. terms of like, you do this for me and I get to view you. But like, uh-huh. you know, like, uh-huh. here's all I Celebrating. am with everything taken away and I'm still fabulous. Right, yeah. And you still are going to sit and watch me and give me your money. I mean, it's a, it's a diff- I guess, a different perspective. I don't know. I, I think there's no, something about being I, I agree. I, I think naughty. the stripper has a lot more control in the situation oh, yeah. than a lot of people oh, yeah. think. And the Hooters waitress, you know, and they're not the same thing, but the same idea. But I mean, how, and not to give away any of my secrets, but I mean, how many, <laughs> <Please> <laughs> how don't. often have you like leaned over a little bit extra, and, you know, like flirted a little bit just to get something that you wanted? I, I have know, never I, done I, that. I, I do. <laughs> I do it when I don't even want anything. I do it just because I can. Hello, how are yeah. you? No, I don't want anything from you. I just want to look at my chest. Okay? But just look at me. That's different. This is no. Saying, how is it different? I I just have issues with the the money. You know when I have you ever worked as a waitress? I was as a hostess. Have but you ever flirted you with tips? a cop who pulled you over? Yeah. Have you? Mm-hmm. No. 
Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, will now. All right, all right. Me. Cam, Cam pulled over Cam once. And Melissa and I, I are in my school uniform. And Miss Burroughs is a saint. Okay. Um. Wait. 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 I no. I just. <laughs> what? Is okay. are there people still in the chat room? Uh. Yeah, but it's dwindling. Oh. Okay. And Sorry. You know sex, it's late. Sex. Sex. Late. Late. It's and it's time late. to. I would like to ask. Are there everyone, any other important? Questions? I just think yes. it's fascinating that that um, I, strong, empowered women are still. Myself included, fascinated with this. I don't think it's strange. At naughty. All. I'm not saying it's strange. I'm, you just, I, did I say strange? You did. I think. I don't know what. What is? What's this hold on us? On me? It's, you know, sex is a powerful, powerful thing. But what is it with the naughty sex? You mm-hmm. know, like what is it with the good sex? Um, good sex. No, I mean, what? What is it with the angelic sex? I mean, it just sex is sex. It gives you what you want. Sex, straight and forward, is just from its origin been very naughty right and so i think there's just an origin of if you are upfront about your sex life just like the first question kind of like it it can make you feel on levels that you can't quite figure out naughty for some reason sex is so much more i mean i mean physically yeah at the end it's physical but there's a whole lot of mental to get you there yeah if there's not a lot of um you know fanfare and uh fireworks and all sorts of accoutrements and stuff it's just procreation right yeah yeah you know so last question yes dr Norman round the go. room and then we've got to go okay and we'll start with you cam bam cam bam thank you ma'am the sexiest moment of your life at this point oh my gosh um where i felt sexy you betcha any i well, have to give Veeton kudos for Ooh, <laughs> nice. Um, in his kitchen before we had ever gotten together, we there was this fondue party, and I was helping set up, and <laughs> I was at the kitchen counter. Fondue, and he just, I know, and he just came up behind me and kind of kissed my neck, and I just couldn't help but kind of like stick my ass, <laughs> <laughs> and I just felt like he wanted me as much as I wanted him, and it. Was probably, All right. I mean, it was very simple, but very sexy. Okay. Melissa. Oh, I thought you were oh, going to go that yeah. way. Yeah. I thought I was ready <laughs> for no, we'll Cammy save it for to... Cammy. Oh. Melissa. Leopard for last. Um, the sexiest uh, up until everything. Until now. Uh, yeah. Up until, like, the last hour. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say the last hour? Yeah. Um, probably. You, you should, but you don't have to. <laughs> I would have to say it's, um, it's something that I... Uh, it was um, the first sex I had where I felt after I had my son where I, I felt sexy and it was just a morning of in a closed room where the windows were closed and the doors were closed and we took hours and hours and had sex and that was definitely the sexiest because you know you go from still low mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it was just it was really educational that you could spend that long having sex mm. Miss Burroughs. Miss Burroughs. Still thinking. Because uh, I want to mention that I do think it's very, it, 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 it in, not incites me, but it turns me up. I don't know about turning me on, but whatever. To talk about sex with other women and, and say, well, what about this? And what about this? And, all, and to know that people are listening and maybe we'll learn something and try something. I don't know. That's very exciting to me. Uh, personally, trying to remember the... the I don't know when it happened, but like G spot at the same time as vaginal is mm. just I don't know. I was like flying on the ceiling, so just kind of stuff. I have to. I'm gonna have to have a, a draw. I have a draw with between two, and the first one is as a teenage girl when I was I don't know how old in my backyard. The first time I ever let a boy see my breasts in your backyard. You slut! <laughs> in California, baby, it was nice and warm out there. No, I let him. I let him Thank see you. and touch my breasts, and that was so incredibly sexual wow. and powerful to me that wow. to this day I still haven't forgotten that. How old were you? More important than my my first actual um, intercourse encounter wow. to me. Wow. And then the second one, and I give Doctor Normal credit for this. It was the first time I kissed Doctor Normal. Aww. It was pouring rain. We were walking around downtown Portland, and he grabbed me and pulled me underneath a rain spout. Aww. And kissed me in the soaking wet pouring rain. And and that is the stuff of 
hot movie. Aww. Yeah. Doctor. So you stole one of mine. The second one was oh. um, when we got a hotel after we had our kid. Oh, that was nice. Very sexy. And uh, Cami Chaos was ready. The sexiest woman Aww. I'd ever laid eyes on. Aww. Aww. We should probably leave now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Okay, the show is ending. That's right. It's so the end of the show. Communicating is a good effort. Next week on Strange Love, we're going to leave the sex behind. And we're going to talk to guitar player and singer John Bross. And Backfence PDX is when? Wednesday. Buy your tickets in advance. Everything's at the website, backfencepdx.com. Woohoo! Anything else? Anybody want to pimp anything? Say goodbye. Bye bye. Good night, bye, everybody. everybody. Studio audience. <laughs> yes, thank you to our lovely studio audience she, slash she other member. the hardest. Cam Bam. Cam Bam. Good night, everybody. <laughs>